my god. Hello? I can't believe you've done this. Really? I mean, it seems in character for me. Damn it, he's right. I can't believe it. Okay. I refuse to believe it. Playing the Legend of Zelda, huh? Oh, damn it, I forgot to read. Womp womp. Well, I'll have to fix that now. Uh. Uh, you know, I had that set up to fix, but then I got distracted by get setting stuff up in the actual game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. You know what? I have a solution. This is just going to become the Legend of Zelda now. You're all going to be with me as I play through Twilight Princess now. And we'll That's just on you. I destroy all the pots. <laughs> I thought we were playing the D and D version of Legend of Zelda. Or yeah, there you go. I mean, I ooh, that would be fun too. I haven't watched it yet, but I did remember seeing someone set up a video on YouTube about making Legend of Zelda campaign, basically. Nice. Miracle World did something like that, I think. I'll be a bird. Or they did that like one shot. <laughs> bird. Exactly. You mean the fucking invincible chicken? <laughs> I want to play yeah. as a cucko then. The cucko. Oh, yeah. Well, then you're just gonna be unstoppable. That's not fair to everybody else. Why even have a you party know, be, if you I'll have a cucko? I'll be a, I'll be a chicken Rito, and my my powers are summoning cuckos. Oh my to god. To do various tasks for me. Horrifying. It won't save your marriage, dude. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I know that. I know that quest, but damn. God. Listen, I'm still recovering from the from Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> no spoilers, but I'm still sad. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was able to watch uh, the Spireverse too. Oh, I need to watch that at some point. It's the literally Spireverse movie. I literally watched it on TikTok. What? <laughs> Someone was streaming the entire movie on TikTok. Oh my god. How do you stream an entire movie on TikTok? They just went that live. That's horrible. But the quality was actually really good. But like, it's what? A few seconds snippets of an entire movie? No, streaming, streaming, streaming. No, no, no. Streaming. They, they streamed it. Wait, you can they stream went, well, on TikTok? You can stream now? on Twitch. Yeah. 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 Huh. Yep. Wild. That's how I got banned because people thought my real face was a, that of a child. <laughs> this is why I don't show my face as often. Wow. <laughs> Weird. Sad. That sucks. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jokes on you. She is the size of a child. Shut <laughs> up! I regret everything. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't have told him that. <laughs> It's okay, just carry our baseball bat with a nail in it and no one will mess with you. Regardless. Is that girl from Invincible? She like de ages when she when she hulks oh, out. Oh yeah, something. Monster Girl. Yeah, Monster Girl. That's this stud on steroids. <laughs> oh, <laughs> also when I steroids. like dress up in formal wear on uh when I, on TikTok like eons ago when I actually before I privated it, uh, that was, people thought it was my sweet 16, which is why I was wearing formal wear instead of like, oh, I have other formal events in life <laughs> that I have to go to. What? <laughs> and that's why I'm wearing... <laughs> You have other formal events? <laughs> Shocked. As, as like a 20 something. I can't believe it. <laughs> What are twenty-something-year-olds doing that's so formal, anyway? Really? <laughs> uh, I think it was uh, either we're, we were about to go to like a fancy ball, or it was passport photos. I forget which. Damn. Fancy ball. I was like. More and more I yeah. think about it, I might be the oldest one here. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 30. Ah, you're the same age as me. We're tied for the oldest. And also the... Yeah, I think Creatures is older. 
He's a fucking old man. Creatures is definitely older, I should say. I mean, you know what? That's fair. I was born in November. I was born this month. I am not the oldest. Creatures is now canonically uh, 74 years old. Yeah. Uh, totally. 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 Totally believe that. <laughs> <laughs> he was born in the ye olde days when video games had just come out. Playing your pongs and what have you. <laughs> Must have been wild. Mm. I don't know why I'm just compelled to Google search when would the first video game was released. I mean, I'm, I think Pong. most of us are older than Google. Yeah, yeah it was like 98 yeah. or something for Google. Yep. So feels bizarre knowing that we're older than Google. Bizarre. We're just older than the source of most people's information. It's fine. October 1958. What? October What? 1958? Yep. Was the first video game created. What? Doesn't yeah. Right. So it says in ni October 1958, physico uh, physicologist William Hagsburgham created what is thought to be the very first video game. It was very similar tennis, a very simple tennis game, similar to the classic 1970 video game Pong, and it was quite a hit at the Brookhaven National Laboratory Open House. Huh. Pong was 72. Hmm. God damn. <clears throat> or, yeah, 72 for Pong. Hmm, weird. Just, just knowing all of this feels bizarre. Bizarre. Time is weird. Yeah. Time doesn't exist, dude. It's all for your figment of imagination. I mean, yeah. Time was created by us, if you think about it. It's a construct. Why am I and that was six, me? and that was sixty-five years ago. Hmm. Pixel, you was off by nine years. <laughs> God damn. Anyway, I think we're uh, good to get properly started. So, you know, if someone wanted to, I don't know, maybe do a recap of some kind, we could get into yeah. that, I suppose. Let's, uh... I'm thoroughly yelling under the bus. Wait, what? Why? <laughs> yep, yelling. Yeah, New person, go! This is a bad idea! <laughs> well, this is why you should take notes! Don't <laughs> worry, I choose you! Or go! <laughs> Don't worry, it's not like we're testing you or anything. Uh, I, I, uh... Alu joined the party, uh, we're on a boat and something and we're traveling to which which I, I let me open up the do we have the map for that uh yes um with the constellations oh um th th they were monks right right it was <laughs> yeah so uh before you facts, continue, yeah. something i I'd like to do for these is also if you could do it in character, if you feel comfortable doing that. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> um, so we went to. Sorry, my voice is off. <clears throat> we went to. We went to see the island which had monks, centaurs, and a witch in a tower. Am I correct? Correct. <laughs> and the monks told us to avoid going to one of the areas because they are learning the ways to they they were training 
so they can understand and try to prevent the centaurs from becoming scorpion monsters? No. They were uh. training, or they're trying to prove that they are able to move to the next section of their uh, training. Of their, yeah, their vows as monks. The centaurs on the island turn into scorpions, but that's not something they're trying to stop at this time. Okay. And the reason why the centaurs are turning into scorpions is because of a curse the witch has created on the island. And the witch is living in a tower on the island that no one wishes to go to. Yes. Except we decided to go into it. And we got transported by a bunch of pretty flowers to a different realm. Yep. That was near the foot of the tower. Alright. I forgot about that. There you go. So... Also, the king is there with us? I never voted for him. I was gonna say I didn't know Elvis was here. <laughs> Wait. Uh, didn't. What well, didn't like a king or someone join us? Even uh, though. Oh, you mean on the crew on the ship? Then yes. Yes. Pythor, former uh -huh. king of Astoria, is technically on the Ultros right now. Got it. But he can't leave the ship, which would interfere for him helping us due to the Oath of Peace. Correct. However, if you wanted him to, like, lift crates or something, you could do that, because that's unobjectionable to the Oath. Or if you were hey. fighting something not related to the Titans and wanted him, technically speaking, he could maybe help you with that? Like, just hypothetically throwing spaghetti against the wall here. If a kraken came along and attacked the ship, he could probably help you all out. <laughs> if the kraken is not affiliated in any way with the titans. Mm. So do we need to like check around the kraken? Like, okay, is it wearing like a, is it wearing like a tattoo that says <laughs> side on for life? Hey, Mr. Kraken, do you work with the storm you. god? Nah, fuck that guy. Cool. <laughs> Kick his ass, Pythor. I thought I'd choose you. <laughs> I mean, we got around a, some, we got around through some like weird loopholes by having Kira fight with us sometimes. <laughs> well, that's mostly because things attack her first. Self defense. Oh, uh, use char useless character. You know what? Before <laughs> we move on, I just like to say I'm really happy for Thud. According to Creatures of X, he married Bluey, and they're n that's why he's no longer in the party. Yeah. That is now canon. Congrats, Matt. Congrats! Until further notice, oh my Thug God. has become married to Bluey, and his curse is over, and it's all fine. I thought Thug. we refused to acknowledge Bluey's existence. <laughs> I'm just married to God. Look, it happened mm. off-screen where I can't see it, so mm. who knows mm -hmm. what's going on over there. I'll never mm. get his mind back. Yep. And this could just be like one of those it's a dream things if you think about it. Because that's my works in mysterious it. ways. Sure don't. No intention to think about it. <laughs> no, that's fair. But anyway, um, I will give you the inspiration for that yelling, but uh, take notes. They will be very <laughs> helpful. I'm giving you the inspiration because it. it was it was passable and also they sort of just threw you under the bus for this. <laughs> So I feel like I'm. I should definitely mystery. give you the. Uh, it's the right of passage. Passage. But we all did it once, so it was her turn. There. Yeah, I mean, I suppose technically, when you're right, you're right. Let us find our way back. Oh, right. There we go. Get everyone on the proper map. <clears throat> now, uh, y'all are standing in front of this black obelisk. There's 
an open door you could walk through, and uh, you hear children and babies crying. That's fucking weird, huh? Yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it either. I like it. Wait, no, 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 I don't. No. But I think what? Traitor! <laughs> <laughs> we literally helped children like a week ago. We must yeah. save these children too. Mm. Well, I mean, go on in. Hmm. Is there a door? Should yeah, door there's an open. There's a door you could very easily walk through. It, is it closed? Let me see here. <laughs> Roll for door closed. <laughs> <laughs> is it a push or pull door? It's Oh just god. Which one of those people that just keeps their door open? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say the door is currently closed. But you can very easily use... open it. There is a doorknob that you could very easily use to open. Can I use find traps? You absolutely could. With Are there any? With your spell you learn that this is a door. No traps seem to be attached to it that you can sense with a spell at the very least. Damn, I'm stumped. Is it a, a knob handle, a lever? Um, I'm gonna say knob. What's it's like, name? the tower is black and this door is the same color, so it's it's there and you can see it, but it's very difficult to see it's there. There is a doorknob that you can very easily grab and turn. What kind okay, of hinges I'm, are on the I'm, door? I'm just gonna open it. Thank Fuck you. It. Oh god. <laughs> I was gonna say this like, whole episode. I got, I got the doorknob. Oh man, I was gonna spin. I got the doorknob. Wait a moment. <laughs> I was gonna say. And then open it. <laughs> like I, Kaya thinks for a moment. Like, do I knock? But then, after like a moment of pause, hearing some more crying, now nah, we're just going in. Uh, like, do is we be the polite? door a pull or a push door? That's what I'm gonna find out. Yep. <laughs> Kaya, you uh, go to the door. What do you try first, push or pull? Are <laughs> <laughs> we really doing this? Push. <laughs> <laughs> Which way are the hinges facing? It looks like it's a pull door. Okay, and we did encounter a door mimic earlier in the campaign. I, 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 I have the material is made right out of through. this door. Is it wood? Is it stone? No. What is... <laughs> is it hollow metal? No, hang on. I, I, I will charge right through as if it's a pull, uh, a push door because I have the strength to just do that with any door. <laughs> this guy right door. <laughs> Guys, wait, hold up. It's a pull door. As I try to push, like, no, it's a, it's a pull. And just uh, pull maybe it. perhaps knock if this is a, a witch it might be a uh Kai just curse looks thing? At you. i don't know Draco is a Kai just looks at you for a moment and you hear the babies crying it's like do you really think we need to be polite i it's not about polite i just don't trust witches and if you don't knock maybe do you get cursed i i don't know i don't i don't like witchcraft yeah i rather not be I close, cursed i close the, i close the door again knock and then pull it open again oh <laughs> well, there you go <laughs> <laughs> Andros is like, I'm already cursed, and he just kicks the door. <laughs> Great. What's more curses? Just, it, <laughs> just wanted to throw it out there. All right. No, no. Uses the door as if it's a push door, regardless of what it actually is. Intimidates the door and being a push door? Yeah. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> you will be I, I am big enough for it. Hey, how big's the door? It's big enough for all of you to go in without any issue. It's actually, it's pretty large, all things considered. Like, a large size you. creature could go through. I opened the door. All right. This room is filled with over a dozen children. Some are infants, barely able to toddle, while others are a few years old. Most of them clutch yellow flowers in their hands. Some are human and elves, while others are minotaurs and centaurs. Piled in the corner of the room are heaps of clothing and equipment that might have belonged to the adult versions of these children. 
Oh. Um, what? One of them um, looks like a five-year-old boy wanders over to you. <clears throat> you, you shouldn't be here. We all came into here to try and take out the witch and uh, look at us now. You're in danger. He did this to you? Yes. You, you must go to see her and beg forgiveness. You, she might let you out if you say you're sorry for trespassing. Oh, or maybe you could... And you hear a door click behind you. And as you turn around, the door has vanished. Well, never mind that, I guess. As the door disappeared... Draco, you read that picture I sent you, right? Oh, well, let me see. Which one? I, th this is why we knock. I did knock. The child virgin? I just... Right. Not ideal. I'll say that much. Not ideal. Which one was it? Uh, well, the Lotus Witch is at the top of the tower. The stairs are over that way. And uh, sure enough, you see a winding staircase that uh, obviously leads up. Andrew's just going for it. All right. All right, well... You can uh, stay safe for right now. We'll try to see if we can talk to the switch. Good luck. Uh, guys, I got an idea. Just in case. You guys watched Tarla shapeshift into a miniature child version of her with short hair and blue, uh, blue short hairs and blue eyes. Is if Jaco shows the, the picture of it, it's the one with the uh, one with the blue shirt okay. that's me, tucking his knees. Give me just a sec. Side. Mm, where is ah? I think I see the one. Let me copy that, bring it to the map here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So everybody can see this art. And there we go. That's the one, right? Yep. Cute. What? And banned. <laughs> Hope you liked your Twitch. There it went. Man, I, I can't believe that we've already got the baby series of Odyssey of Rhapsody of Fire going. Odyssey babies. Odyssey babies. It's like Muppet Babies. I honestly did not knew this was going to happen. I didn't know this one was going to happen at all. So I, I had something else planned for this, but I, it actually happened after this. Honestly, I find it's hilarious that we set this up. You had no idea this was coming. I knew that it was a possibility, but I didn't think about it. But you're right. We just happened to get this prepped in time. But... Okay. <clears throat> uh, I'm just going to stay like this. Just in case. Because if she curses all of you guys and turn you into a kid like them, at least I can still do stuff. Or I can remove the curse. I already have a curse on me. Does it count as... as like, could she still turn... Because you turn into a child of your own volition. Does that not... Could she not trap you that way? Drugs. Which is, don't, uh, not, not a fan. I think she only turned them into children because they were adults. The, uh, child will speak up. Well, I mean, to be fair, 
we did try to kill her. So this is kind of self-defense, but I feel like we could have just been, you know, killed instead of this. Gesturing to all of the babies and children around here. Marriage stage worse than death. How I long feel like this is like little uh, child have you been a child? Do you know have any any idea of the passage of, of time? I have no idea. Time is very difficult to tell in a black tower with no sun. I'm curious if you are stuck like that or if you will age and eventually grow up again. Well, she does come down every so often to re-up the spell, I think. Weird. Wait, what spell? Um... Give me a second, see if it mentions it. Is there it's that famous Mortal Kombat Bay? spell, uh, Babality. Yeah, <laughs> as we all know. I was going to say power word baby. Yeah, power <laughs> word baby. Babality. This feels like a Star Trek episode uh, from... Which one is it? New Generation? Hmm. Where, uh, minor spoilers, Picard turns into a baby. Oh, great, now you ruined it. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> just... How will someone watch that particular episode now? How? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> like... I think it is it just Picard. I feel like there were more times where people turned into like babies or something. I mean, probably. I'm not super well versed on Star Trek, but I do know bits and pieces of the lore, like the Borg. But anyway, <laughs> the, uh... this is just reminding me of it. That's why I wanted to say that. I gotcha. But um, Le uh, the child introduces himself now as uh, Le Leander, um, specifies that she comes down here like uh, every few years to re-up this. He isn't sure of like a specific spell, but she has these children as penance to grab the flowers from outside and press them into oils. They do get to leave, but time is so weird in and around this tower being able to tell what time and day it is is near impossible. Mm. That would explain the weird effect when we walked through the field. Uh, Leander will also chime in. I feel like a lot of us have been here for centuries as children. Like, I don't remember much. Is the first war still going on? Oh no. Carlos eyes widen. You were around the first war? Yeah, but I mean I hadn't really fought a lot in it. I wasn't one of the dragon lords. I was just well, a mercenary. Went out to do some exploring and uh ended up here. One thing led to another and uh here I am as a child. Do you know Jane Lord Tarla? Oh, yeah. I, I think I remember her, yeah. Waves to him. Oh, how, how are you still alive? I have my ways, but that was 500 years ago. Oh. Oh. He just sort of stares at the ground there for a second. Filled with existential dread. Uh, if I used remove curse, would these people turn into ash? Potentially. Wait, which ones are elves? Um, there are a few elves mixed in here. Um, doesn't give me a precise number, so I'm gonna say like there's five elves that are probably gonna be okay if you break hey. the curse. I. I point towards the elves. 
They will be fine if you do remove curse, but the humans, not so likely. Okay, I will try to remove the curse on one of the elves. Okay. Hmm. Uh, before you do, Leander will bring up, are you sure you want to do that? She probably won't, the Lotus Witch probably won't take too kindly to you on curses. I mean, not that I would mind not being, wait a minute, I'm gonna, I would die. Oh boy. That's why we're doing the elves. Hold, hold up, hold up. Yeah, I think the witch will take to offense if we just randomly start trying to undo the curse right now. Like, like what Octavius was saying earlier, witches can be very fickle. Uh, which is not great. Yeah, so I think our best bet is just to talk to the witch, try to see what's going on. Maybe we can work something out. But we shouldn't do anything that may offend her. True. Let's let's try to talk with the witch first. All right. So yes. I. I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. Kara goes over to grab Kai's Kai's hand and holds it. <laughs> I'll I'll lift you up so you're like kind of over my shoulders. I put both my hands on top of your head. Watch out for the crown, but you'll be fine. If you thumbs up. Alright, everyone, let's go. Alright, you begin making your way up a spiral staircase. It's a spiral stone staircase that ascends the tower and seems to go on forever. Time within the tower seems to take on the same strange quality you experienced outside. Some windows are flooded with intense sunlight, while others allow a gentle breen, uh, sorry, gentle beams of moonlight. Climbing the staircase is disorienting and leaves you feeling slightly nauseated. Uh, you would also notice you could, like a small creature could potentially squeeze through these windows if anyone wanted to do that. Um, it doesn't give me the option here, but I think I'm going to allow you to make a quick Arcana check, anyone who would want to. Arcana. I wouldn't be able to. Boop. Nope. Oh, also, didn't we gain some kind of Arcana, Arcana something from reading the book, by uh, the way? If you did spend the time to read through all of them, you would get proficiency in Arcana. Like oh, yeah. You need, need four You need four days, I think, yeah. of studying those books. Yeah. So you could have gotten a decent chunk of that done while on the ship. Gotcha. Okay. I like reading. Yeah, I would have probably read half the books because it was two days travel. Nice. Okay, so, Kaya, with a 19, you realize something. The, the scenes outside these seven windows as you walk past, they look wildly different from the island that you have pat have you uh gone through and you get this sinking the sinking feeling that these windows might lead to other planes of existence huh. I'll relate hey this brown am i right <laughs> yeah this looks like some fey shit right witches and fey yes how uh, Familiar, you guys, with Faye. Carla slowly points to herself. <laughs> I mean, how familiar are we with, like, Faye customs and how Faye work? I read about Quickling once. I don't know. Oh. I'll give you guys a quick lesson with Faye, because Faye's don't play by our rules. A lot of times they'll, t like... It's it's even hard to even explain it in words, because, like, 
A fae can take something literally, but at the same time, it, they can take things figuratively. They'll like, they like to twist words and stuff to have things benefit them. But the most important thing is that fae's don't have the same morals as like you know other mortals like us have. So when negotiating with this witch or even just talking to them, we have to be kind of careful. And whatever you do. If they offer up a deal, be extremely wary of it. Because Fey deals are like fate binding. And they can and will destroy you. So, would you guys want more information of what it looks like out these individual windows? To see what planes are outside? Yeah. Alright, so the first window looks out to a beautiful, expansive vista. This, like, beautiful fields and forests. You get the feeling, like, just from looking at it alone, a very calm and peaceful feeling falls over you. The second window is a significant contrast to the first. This one looks out into a horrifying hellscape. A prison sort of field with bits of fire and steel. The third one looks out into an empty expanse of stars and nebula. The... Let's see, one, two, three, four. The fourth window looks out upon another hellish looking field where there's an army of insect men marching in perfect formation across the burning wastes. On the fifth window, there appears to be a battle. The armor is somewhat similar to what you've seen of the soldiers of Mitros and Aresia, and it looks like a somewhat similar scene, like some sort of war is going on, but there's two men that are dueling each other. Uh, one side of the war watches from one side, another from the walls of the city, as these two men duke it out. Eventually, one of the men prevails. He looks like he's a very strong warrior, but he seems to be favoring one of his, uh, one of his legs more than the other. About, around the heel area, he seems to be, like, light on his feet. Um... Oh my gosh. You just... Is that Achilles? Above game. Yes, yes it is. That was the battle between Hector and Achilles at the Battle of Troy. Uh, I had a hell feeling. Yeah. Um, the sixth window seems to look at the island that you're currently at from ten miles above it. It's sealed by a glass cover if you put your hand out, so Obviously, you wouldn't be able to climb out there unless you broke the glass, but probably not the best idea to do that. I mean, I'm not going to stop you if you want to do it, but just logic would dictate probably not a good idea to break the window that's 10 miles above this island you're at. <laughs> Joke's on you. I cast Featherfall. Fair. So this is the emergency way out? Yes. <laughs> That's assuming this window is still here. And the last window, you see, looks like maybe a bunch of wizards around each other. There's two. One is a teenage boy, and the other looks bizarre. It's got, like, sort of snake features, no real nose, skin is, like, pulled taut against his face. And there's, like, this weird arcane struggle between the two. One with a red beam of light and one with a green beam of light. God damn it. <laughs> I feel like I pull should down the this. Pull down the curtain on that window. We don't need to see it. <laughs> yeah. 
probably for the best. <laughs> See, above game, seventh window is just called another world. And I was free to pick any fantasy world I felt like describing. I went with that one. Maybe if I can hear what spells they're casting, maybe I can learn them. But that's <laughs> another time. You pull out your notebook and begin taking notes as you press your ear against the window. I do the same. <laughs> Can't I do an arcane arcana check? <laughs> uh, you know what? Sure. Fuck it, I got my own notebook. I'm gonna try. No! <laughs> nah, you can't quite pick it up. You think you hear the words of Vod uh, something or other, but you have no da, da, idea. Da, da, da. Da, la, la, it's, la, la. Literally, it's literally the sound from the from the TikTok where it's just like in it, like, <laughs> nah, like yeah, just you can't even understand it. it's gibberish. So, uh, Lou, macaron, macaron. With your Arcana check, uh, you think you hear the teenage boy say. Stupefy? That's ah. interesting. Look who has come to die. <laughs> <laughs> I should learn this spell just in case. So I can make sure that when we do have to deal with more people, I can maybe reverse it. Maybe. Well, you'll just need to go to a wizarding school and <laughs> learn how they do that. <laughs> you know, there's some flourishes, I believe, with the wand technique. It's very complicated, but anyways. <laughs> After walking 200 feet up these goddamn stairs, you find yourselves op in an open stone room at the top of the tower. The floor, walls, and ceiling are covered in etched hieroglyphs. A closer look reveals that the markings are roughly made, as if they were scratched into the rock with primitive tools. A majestic winged lion with the face of a regal woman sits in the center of the room. Behind her, a wide window shows the island below bathed in daylight. Upon seeing you, she demands, Why have you disturbed my contemplations? Um. <clears throat> Tap Kai on top of the head and points. Uh, Tarly, you asked the wrong person to talk. This is her, by Hello. the way. Um, my name is hey. Andros for Million, and um, my family was inflicted with one of your curses. One of mine? She sniffs you No, not one it... of mine. This smells of god magic. magic it smells like titans wait a minute ah yes I'm familiar with you now Andros Vermillion you were cursed or rather your ancestors were cursed by Sidon and Lutheria themselves. It's a very powerful curse. It varies depending on the person, but it seems to give an aura of bad luck that is inescapable. <laughs> that explains so much. It can be broken, but if you want to break this curse upon you and any living relatives, you must go to the island of Typhon, and only there can it be broken. If you wish to properly do it, Typhon is an island with an active volcano. You will need to dive into the magma and get through to the underworld without 
obviously passing, and I have something that could help you with that. And she pulls out a red bottle encrusted with jewels in one of her paws. But if you would like this bottle to help break your curse, as well as details on how it works, I would like to ask you some questions about the history of Thylea. Answer three of my four questions right, and the bottle is yours. Answer them wrong, and she smiles her toothy maw. Then I'm afraid you're just going to have to take it from me. Paula raises her hand. Hmm? Is he the only one that can't answer? Well, I assume that all of you would participate in trying to take me down. So it only seems fair that you can work together to answer the questions. Okay. These, these will be general history questions of Thylea. I hope you all took good notes. We'll start... <laughs> Fuck. We'll start with a simple question. Who was the first dragon lord? Color oh, raises her hand. She'll point to you. Xander Horath. Correct, that's one. Who did Pythor overthrow to rule over Astoria? Oh, this is her hand again. Anyone else want a chance before we turn it over to, uh, she waves at you? Double check if I actually have the notes on this. No, I do not have the notes, so I'm just leaving it to the history buff, which All is right. our child. Yeah. Alright. Then uh little miss, please. Who did he overthrow? Esther. That is incorrect. What? You were close. Lysis Arklander, an ancestor of Esther's. Fuck. I mean, shoot. <laughs> well, that's one right and one wrong. Sorry. It's fine. Question. Uh, of... Go ahead. Uh, could I. Is it okay to do a history check since I don't really know? Well, that one has already failed because the wrong question was answered. Or the I, wrong I answer was given. One. For the next one? Um, sure. Because this one I think you would probably have some knowledge on anyway. For a third okay. question, who is the city of Mitros named after? You're not sure. Oh, I, hey, man. I know, um, this, I know um, this one. Is that who we sacrifice stuff to? Like the goddess of like yeah. the earth or something? Yeah. Uh, Mitros is the, the goddess of the dawn. She's also known as the Silver Queen. And also Xander's dragon. Correct. Also known as Balmetra. Balmetria, excuse me. <clears throat> and that's two right, one wrong. Last question. Who started the first war? Can I do a well, history check again? I'll allow that. Well, it was about states' rights, so. <laughs> Although I'm, I'm looking through my I'm looking through my notes. Yeah, this could technically be in your notes. You did learn who started the first war, pretty recently, in fact. Wasn't well, that uh, Billy Joel? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I know he didn't start the fire, but... <laughs> yeah, but he did keep it burning. The world's been turning. We're gonna roll in and tell him... Uh, is that history? Yes. Or... I have a guess, but I'm gonna wait. I mean, or... you could discuss it above game before you properly answer. Was it yeah. the Dragon Lords? 
Yes, but I... one specifically instigated it. Oh, oh instigated. Come... If it's it instigated. If it instigated, then that means it probably was Esther that instigated the war. For the 13, I will say, you remember, Kaya, you looked through Esther Arklander's journal, and sure enough, not only from that, but when you went to the Temple of Sidon and learned their side of the story, it seems to match up that Esther Arklander is in fact the one who started the first war by committing genocide on the Gigan people. That's mm. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I will speak up then. It was Esther Arklander. He committed genocide against the Gigans. She claps her paws together. And that's all three. No meal for and me uh, today. Uh, <laughs> hmm? I was gonna say, under her breath, Kaya's just gonna take a deep sigh and just be like, Esther, you fucking bastard. I wish I could kill you right now, but whatever. <laughs> just kind of like, ugh. She will uh, hold the red bottle in her palm for Andros to take. I take it. That is in a free tea bottle. Inside it, there is an Ifriti, who may or may not grant a wish to you, depending on his mood and how things shake out. I would recommend wishing something along the lines of being able to get down into the volcano, but I suppose it's your wish to use how you see fit. See. Um, thank you. Well, you're very welcome. If there's nothing else you need of me, I'm going to go back to my contemplations and studying. Uh, yeah, there's one question. Hmm? If you don't mind uh, me asking. What's with the children you have down below? Ah, uh, they attacked me, so I made them useful after they lost to me. What do you mean, useful? They collect the flowers outside and press them into oils. Oils that I use for various spells and whatnot. Another question? Why do the centaurs turn into scorpions? Ah, that. I cursed them because several centuries ago, this island used to house a library's worth of knowledge. The centaurs of old carved their knowledge into the trees and then those idiots chopped them down to make firewood. All of that knowledge and lore gone! It seemed only fair that they should suffer for it. Hmm. I guess it makes sense to get vengeance for people that wrong you. Perhaps they were cold. There are other ways to get warm. Destroying knowledge. Admittedly, very horrible way to keep your lore organized by carving it directly into trees. But still. Is there any way for them to redeem themselves that doesn't require punishing the children for the sins of, the, of their ancestors? <sighs> Unless you can like, recover... It makes sense punishing those ancestors, but what about all the young centaurs now? This is just their fate? That doesn't quite seem too fair. Oh, this sounds perfectly fair. I mean, puni I mean, punishing the ancestors, yes, but the children now, this is just their life now for something that's happened hundreds of years ago. Well, there's a way out of the curse. Like, they just need a rider and to get them out of here, and then they're free to live their lives as they see fit. They are no longer one of the centaurs of the original clan once they leave here. 
that once, being said, but oh, sorry, go ahead. If they return, hmm. by the law of the curse, after they have a rider and leave, they are no longer considered part of the clan. So even upon returning, they won't turn back. Or they won't turn into scorpions upon aging to adulthood. Also, by the way, I'm going to post the 3D bottle in the general. So you know what you have now. Okay. Also above game. So, I knew this was coming. Obviously. And, like, when you picked the Freedy bottle as your greater item, I'm like, well, this can go horribly, horribly wrong. Because you just gotta yeah. take a lava bath, and you've left it to chance. Sure did. <laughs> Yikes. Carla raises her hand. Sure, an inquisitive bunch. She'll point to Tarla. So, you know a lot of lore about the the land and the dragon lords, right? I do. You know what happened to Dragon Lord Tarla's dragon? say much more than that, unfortunately, due to the oath. But the oath? Yes. Given the rules of the oath, I am not allowed to dole out certain information about the dragons of the dragon lords. However, I feel that I could tell you without breaking any rules that the dragons from those dragon lords may reveal themselves to all of you after the oath has ended or exactly as it ends Carla's eye twitches and she grips onto Kaya's hair as she starts to pull down Okay. <laughs> Does anyone else have any thing they want to say, or because I guess they, we can't really do anything about the people down below? We aren't actually going to mass evacuate people who have tarnished knowledge, are we? No. Uh, can't really do anything to help them, fortunately. No. I mean, it would be a very temporary evacuation. They'd just have to leave the boat, leave onto a boat, and then come back. But the thing is, they also need a rider. The curse, how it works, is to break it, they need to make a person their rider. I believe there's more lore in this somewhere about that specifically. But someone has to designate them as a rider after a certain ritual, and then they have to leave. So and we'd I... have to convince the monks, and then... No, the centaurs themselves are the ones that are cursed. The monks have nothing to do with the centaurs. They just fight them when they become giant scorpions. No, I mean, like, we would have to convince the monks to be become riders. I mean, I guess you could attempt to convince the monks to become riders, but... 
that'd be kind of difficult because one of their like orders passage of right is to fight one of these centaurs when they become a giant scorpion so then they have to come up with a new way to prove themselves Plus, you don't know if there's enough monks on this island, plus yourselves, to get every single one of the centaurs out, because you don't know how many centaurs live on this island. How many people we have on our boat? Um, let's see, there's a hundred sailors, there's Versailles, Pythor... Do we, but do we have room for a hundred plus centaur children? Yeah. You would not... Your boat can comfortably house a maximum of 150 people. We would just have to be out of range of the spell and then come back, right? No, the ritual first has to take place where they get a designated rider, and then once they leave, yeah, they could be free. But... If you don't stay that centaur's rider, like if something breaks that bond and then they come back, then they'll the curse will just resume again. Yeah, there's nothing we could really do for all the centaurs here, unfortunately. This is complicated. Mm. Yeah, we can't. I don't think. I don't think it's a way we can help them really, besides taking a few. But that's only if people want to take some with them. Hey, Draco, if we do get rid of this witch, would that break the curse? Potentially. But you would also have to fight a Sphinx witch. I mean, you I could mean, do that. Yeah. I'm just, that's why I'm like, that's the source, right? Yeah, <laughs> if we take out the she, source. Yeah, since she is the source, you could technically fight her, kill her, and then the curse ends forever. But I mean, she's cool with just letting you leave. But hey, if you want to kill her to free everyone on this island from the curse, by all means, do so. I don't want to kill her. Just because of all the children. Yeah, there'll, be some... of there'll be a lot of dead kids on our hands. They're quite literally. I mean, what kind of life do they have right now? Well, I don't think we can even... Well, we might be able to take her right now, but I don't want to take those chances, because it seems like she has time magic. Like I said, I'm just saying, like, above game, like, if we're worried about the whole like, morality of, like, the curse stuff, like, that's... that eliminates that. It'd free all the kids who were trapped being kids forever, and it would stop the scorpion curse. Yeah, but we all know if that's going to rapidly age everybody that's been here more than 500 years. Right, but like, do you want to be trapped as a kid forever, or would you like, welcome the fucking release of death? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what kind yeah. of life are you living? I oh, I, I pick flowers you. to press into oils. Great. I'm a slave. As a child child slave yeah I'm agreeing with you above game I just don't think we can do it right now I mean it'll be tricky to do it right now and this is a sphinx yeah so it's like I don't even know we might be able to take her but at the same time I don't want to risk it right now maybe later we could come back and kick her ass above game she is a gyna sphinx oh shit and you are in her lair, so do with that information what you will. Nope, I don't want to do it. I, don't, I, I definitely don't want to do it now. <laughs> mm. It's okay, we'll come back at like level 20 and like kick every bad guy's ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll just be your boss rush at the end. Yep. Well, now Let's... that Sidon oh. and Lutheria are dealt with, let's go kick some asses. Yeah, post game is just beating up all the unique enemies. <laughs> yeah, so I say right now we just leave. Alright. Well, if you 
have no more business, you walk your way down the tower. The door is opened for you. And you are free to leave and go back to your ship. Can I free one elf? You can try. Okay. Alu touches an elf and uses the move curse. starts aging very, very quickly before your eyes. But, uh, he manages to stop at a more adult age. Still a bit aged. Like, you know, elves age very, very slowly, but he looks probably that he's middle-aged for elf. Thank you, uh... Uh... I guess I'll take my stuff and get out of here before... The Lotus Witch notices! And he just quickly grabs his stuff and tries to get out the door that's still opened. It closes. Oh no. And uh. you see the Sphinx walking down the stairs. Uh. Well, that's not very nice. Trying to take one of my servants away. And I thought we had such a reasonable parting. Perhaps it was a mistake? I'm sure you didn't mean to, right? As she bares her teeth. I you know, I would say... A servant without free will is more of a slave. I raises her hand. I ain't doing anything. Or it's just, um... Our new friend is trying to be kind to those who, um... have been here for a while. I see. Misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. They did try to take my life when they came in here. And I completely understand that. Uh, it, I don't think I can fix it now, but um, all I can say is it won't happen again. Alright. She continues down the stairs and puts a paw on the shoulder of the elf who looks absolutely dejected. Well, you are free to leave. The door opens again. But be more careful next time. I'll need to redo the spell a little early, it seems. Wouldn't it be useful if this elf would to bring you knowledge from faraway lands? And what's to ensure that he'll come back? Aren't there tracker spells? I don't have one of those spells at my disposal. And I do have a spell to reclaim knowledge from anywhere I choose, really. This is just where I've set up shop, as it were. I think it's best that we just leave her to her business and we go along our way. Okay. Have a pleasant day. Zandras will walk out. Violet, like, slowly pats Pai on the top of the Go, 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 go. 
walk out. Use this trunk to now make the was now now that we're inside it would be a push door into a pull door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it is wide open for you. Because she used her mouth okay, to close it. I I hope the Sphinx does doesn't mind that I turned it into a use both ways door. <laughs> It's fine. Nothing a little magic can't fix. So when you get to the field of flowers and walk through it, the same effect happens. But when you get to the opposite side, it looks like it's the exact same time of day that you guys went into the tower at. No time has passed at all, at least as far as you can tell. Well, that was, uh... Terrifying? Unsettling? Not ideal. No. You better be glad I didn't wet myself. I, mm. Why would I be glad you didn't wet yourself? You're the one who had to sit in it. I mean, looks down to Kaya. <laughs> I wouldn't change you. That'd be on you, friend. <laughs> After all, aren't you a changeling? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Glare. <laughs> For the record, I'm not real comfortable with leaving a bunch of slaves in the care of a witch, but I don't know that we have the strength to to deal with that in the moment. No, especially if we're on her home turf. Yeah, not not ideal. Perhaps one day we can return and, and proverbially uh, free the slaves if the, as, as it were. We could maybe entice her with the knowledge of a faraway land. I think it would be had to be something very substantial, but she did say she get information even from here. Yeah, he knows where my dragon was. But on the bright side, Tarla, they will return to you. Like you guys have that strong bond. I'm pretty sure. Sir Lane will find her way to you. I want to go to the island of dragons. We have no idea where that island is. Fuck, I should have asked. <laughs> well, I don't even think she would be able to answer that due to the whole Oath of Peace nonsense. And if you want to go back in there, feel free, but I, I'm not dealing with that witch anymore. No. Hell no. Not by myself. I'm not going back in there. I got what I wanted, so... How are you feeling, Andros? Fine. Can we go back to the boat? Personally. Great. I'm going to walk through the flowers. Alright. And like I said, when you walk through the flowers, no time seems to have actually passed in the real world. It's hard to tell what exactly happened with time dilation here. But, uh, you make it out. It takes about a few hours to get back to the boat proper. About a day has passed on the island from you going to the tower and then back. <sighs> One. Uh, nope. So that's, that's 40. 
six. And I imagine y'all are gonna rest on the boat before you head on off to uh, the next grand adventure. Hmm. Rest yes. is good. And Trish just has the bottle on his belt. Hmm. How long did you stay as a kid? I thought I chose to turn back. All right, you're just going to be here for a while then. It's fine. So, <laughs> let's shift on over to the constellation map. Where are you guys heading to next? Let me... Grab the information for annotations. Constellations, this is what I want. And uh, that's not it. Quick reference map. Ah, here we go. Uh, you have access to the Geigen constellation, the prisoner, which you know heads to Fire Island, the heart, the trickster. The Bard, the Warrior, you're already at the Centaur, Scorpion Island, the Queen, the Twins, and the Ant. Oh, also the Bear, if you want to go back to Mitros proper. So, Fire Island? Yeah. Yeah. Try next. Let's do all the islands so we know what they are first, and then we can just do one random map of that. Understandable. Also Draco, real quick, you said Typhon. Island of Typhon, right? Yep. Okay. Spelled T Y P H O N. Okay. Typhon. That sounds familiar, but I don't remember where I heard that before. More like Typhoon, am I right? <laughs> no, this one has a volcano at its center. Mm. And leads to hell, potentially, but that's neither here nor there. Lava Typhoon, got it. It'll become your Typhoon or <laughs> oh. right, so Ha ha! Oh! Oh! <laughs> as you set the uh, Antikytheria device to the constellation of the prisoner and set sail, Kira begins. Chalicea, the goddess of swiftness, was the only god to escape when her siblings Sidon and Lutheria decided to destroy their brothers and sisters. She escaped to an island of fire, pursued by Sidon's storm of wrath. She hid deep in the island and waited for the storm to abate. You can see her cowering in those seven bright stars, but Sidon and Lutheria did not leave. Instead, the twins reached deep into the roots of the island, shifting rock and stone to trap their sister in a tiny chamber at the island's fiery heart. Look! You can see the red star beneath Chalcia. It represents the everlasting torment she suffers trapped at the island center. That's lovely. Mmm. So yeah, there were other titans before, but uh, not so much anymore. That's a story for another time, if you're interested. In the bottle now is that when you roll pretty much yeah okay the second you open the bottle i roll to see gotcha now, Do it. i might alter this a little bit because i do notice that the other options that aren't wish spell says that it loses its magic after which mm -hmm. seems stupid all things considered especially Either. in this event where 
you need this bottle to do your thing. It's either it attacks me or it serves me. Yeah. I'll just have it on a long cooldown then. Well, it's uh, it'll attack you, or it will serve you and do as you command, or it can grant you the wish spell three times, and it disappears after granting the final wish, or an hour. So if you get that one, I'll say that the magic goes away. But if you get it attacks you or it serves you, that's one use of the bottle, and I'll give you three total uses out of it. Okay. I'm gonna open it. All right. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> you open the bottle and... Let's see how this goes. Hell yeah. Well... That is a six. So you're fighting an Afridi now. Oh, great. Let's do it. All right, everyone. I'd love to see it. Yep. Okay, so. Oh, wait, why are you not? Hold on, let me fix Tarla's token because I just noticed that for some reason it doesn't have all of the stuff it should have on it. And I don't know why. Because I. I imported the new one on the token page, but it's probably all the other pages probably have the old ones. Yeah. Well, let's see. Spell. Guys, first combat in like a month. Let's go. Spell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are right. The... I was not expecting to fight a fucking genie. I mean, Here it's only are. for five rounds, but uh, yeah. It's five, five rounds against a genie. I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> Just you know. <laughs> Stay away from mid, I guess. I and I forgot to prep revive today, so no one die. <laughs> Someone's gonna die today. God damn it! So this is going to be on the ship. So I'm gonna take you to the ultras, which I've uh, there's civilians that could uh, be in danger here. Well, you're sailors, so we'll see how that hey, goes. Hey, can help. Everyone get the sailors down somewhere. Jesus Christ, okay. Throw Bulbo at him. We got this. Let me see. Yeah, fuck it, we need our gods to fight <laughs> to keep us alive. Yeah, get uh, get our... Yeah, the king dude. Hi, Thor. Yeah, that's the one. That's what I said. You're the god of fighting. Fight. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yo, god of fighting. Hi, Help. Thor. So I will. I summon Pythor! <laughs> in attack mode! Pythor, Pythor. Damn it, why is it not working? Great, I'm gonna have to create. I'm gonna have to create Yu Gi Oh cards for these gods. Yes. Hmm. Uh, Wait, is there. Working? Hold up, I wanna see if there's like a Yu Gi Oh soundboard thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I actually might have one for what it. Oh, let me see. Do -do -do -do. I summon Beaver Warrior in attack mode. I don't have that stole yet. <laughs> A few moments later. There we go. I have Shadow a, Realm. A free key. Where is he? What oh, there is he is. Love, oh, baby, don't hurt. Well, oh god. Me, right? And demonetized. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> oh, and Solaire would be here too, of course, because he's with his dad. Oh yeah. Did you ever oh, give God. me the uh, stats for Baby Dragon? Yes, uh, they should be in here. Solaire Wormling. Because the well, I thought the Wormling was like after he's older, because it still has like abilities and shit. Yeah, so I looked at another one on a different map. There's another Hatchling that uses the Wormling stats, so we're just gonna mm -hmm. roll with it for now. Cool. I'm down. I'm, hey, I'm down with that dude. <laughs> Yes. And let's bring Alu. I don't know yeah. where she'd be, <laughs> but uh, let's move y'all over to here. And I gotta change the music. And I also need to make chat's uh, window make sense. Look at that guy. What a cool guy. I'm gonna say Pythor is below deck uh, for the time being, but you can certainly call to him. Yes. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Okay, 
and why you still have the thud token here wait where is he oh yeah thud was here for but a brief moment Oof. he's gone ah! now i thought it's i good. saw thud for a minute terrifying <laughs> still have child th tyler <laughs> oh no baby tarla not, not helpful so you know what i feel like andra should be closer because he's the one that popped the bottle yeah, I didn't look there. So, you pop the bottle and red smoke billows out and this Afridi roars, Who dares summon me? Me. Me. <laughs> me. Me. You forgot to click your token. I did. What was this, amateur hour? Yes. Woo! <laughs> Alright, everyone. Okay. And you rolled a Hell 11. Yeah. Where the heck are we is my token? Um, if you scroll down. There, I see it. Center, okay. Let's, uh... Well, the first target is going to be Andros, understandably, but he's all the way at the bottom of. The turn order. <laughs> I guess you could roll for your son, too. Since you all should right, have so access to use the sheet. Question for you. So, all right, this is the first combat using Solaire. Mm -hmm. um, question. So this says control the dragon. Dragon act moves and acts on your initiative. Yes. That's right. I forgot that it moves on your initiative. And it says, while it's fighting alongside you, it loses its multi-attack feature, so I guess it's just going to attack once, question mark, or yeah, something? Yeah, or... so okay. it doesn't have multi-attack yet, because mm -hmm. it's not old enough for that. Okay. So that's not relevant till it becomes an adult. Okay, so I'll just be like a one, okay. Um, cool. So yeah. Neat! You know, I should come up with a name for this guy. Let me look up Ifriti names. Mr. Popo. <laughs> no. Pecking order. Ifritus. Ifriti Ifritus. Time Frito. for the pecking order. I will call you Frito. I like you. Fritos? Mm-hmm. Ifriti. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, that's I right here, one. Pokemon. Cool. That's an option. I'll consider that one. I like Pyron. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this generator is dumb. I got, like, three names. The third name was just Jam. J-A-M. Jam? You know the difference between Jelly and Jam? Fear the might of Jam! Egg crystal. If you throw strawberry jam at a dish, it will jam the dish. Lone Star. We would get copyrighted, but not... We would get copyrighted, but I want to start playing Space Jam. You know, no. <laughs> or something. you know what? I like this name. Abta. That that so sounds like a decent name, yeah. Who dares unleash Abta? Me. He turns. <laughs> then you will suffer! No, Artemis, it's your turn. Hey, no one makes my friend suffer except himself, which he does often <laughs> enough. <laughs> And uh, I will uh, attack, I guess. Because, like, why not, right? Yeah. All right, let's attack. 24. All right, a 24 will hit, unsurprisingly. I was like, I freaking hope so. <laughs> <laughs> 10 damage. All right, so minus 10, unless. Let me check. <laughs> unless. <laughs> B -b 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 nope, he doesn't. Wanted to make sure he okay. didn't have any resistances. 
Well, he does, just to... not to stabbing. Stabbing is not a resistance he has. Gotcha. Even um, then, Artemis has magic weapons. It's true. Mm -hmm. All right, and then the second attack. Let's try 26. That will also hit. Hell yeah. With nine damage. All right. Oh, wait, it's not and... showing his health bar. Let me get yeah. that for you. That'd be nice. There we go. Great. We're going to be here well, guys. <laughs> yeah. I mean, again, and then... he's only going to be here for five rounds. Just don't die. Thanks. Wait, Wonderful. are the others on the ship also, like, enemies? No, no they're right? your uh, they're your crew. We're going to stay the fuck out of this if they can at all. Okay. They don't want to be caught in the middle of this. Some random big buff red man just showed up with a giant fucking sword. No, thank you. Mm. All right, I'll do my polearm bonus attack. Uh, 17. That meets. Okay, cool. So let's throw some damage on that. Six bludgeoning. All right. All right. Solaire, my little baby dragon. Um, I'm going to try doing a cold breath. Okay. Um, is there a way to show this on stream? So you should be able to click it since you have access to the sheet. Okay, gotcha. And that'll show it. Yep. Okay. So that is a 15 foot cone. So as that's the point of origin, you might want to move him first because you would get caught in that crossfire. Just a okay, smidge. Okay, so if he... So like here-ish? Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. As he's okay. obviously going to be pointing towards this and... All right, so let's make that con save. So that's a 17, which beats the 13. So, yep, so he takes he's going to take damage. half. Uh, roll 4d8s. Okay. Okay, and that would be half of 11. So that would be six. Six cold. God, fucking two ones on damage. Sucks ass. Yeah. <laughs> he was born like a week ago. Yeah, cut him some slack. And then... Question, is he currently in... Um, like, if I move him, will he get an opportunity attack? Does he have reach? Uh, He's large. Check. So uh, I need to protect nope. my little baby, but he has a reach of five feet with his scimitar. So okay, you're perfect. Good. So I will pull Solaire back behind me. All right. And I guess that's my turn. Kaya, now I believe you put something in chat. Do you want to shout for Pythor? Yes, I'm running forward I'm shouting well I'm shouting to the crew everyone get below deck call Pythor we're gonna need his help action and, uh, bulldog. I realized yeah. I didn't put Kira uh, yeah. in here so and she could help too yep summon some of the gods we need their help and... don't we have like big centaur boy Pythor or whatever uh, uh, bulldog or whatever his name is that's true I guess All he right. might be below deck let me grab Bulba. Rako <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do Get some good stuff. Here. This this aura is important. Okay. Because action, I'm casting well, that's not right aura of vitality. As you guys just see a large like, I could probably change the color of it. Raid. Yep. Oh shit. A large. Whoop. Huggies. Hey raiders, they're. Hey, it's not not much. Hey, they're fighting forward. a genie that they've unleashed on themselves. Well, Andros unleashed no, on themselves. I, I was saying, no, 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 we. <laughs> wow. Never claimed that it was them. It was me. That's fair. I'll take everything. All right, let's grab Pythor. I'll put him yes. into initiative.
I just realized that none of us introduced ourselves at the beginning of the stream, did we? Uh, nah, mm, we usually we don't do at the beginning. We do at the end. Oh, hey, Pythor would actually technically be next, but I'm going to say it takes him a round to get to you guys. Yeah. And I'll do the same with Bulbug, who's also downstairs. You probably don't want to remove them off the map because you take them off the initiative. Oh, yeah, no, I just put them on the GM's layer. Ah. Okay, so... I throw technically dough before Arctavius. Considering... Oh, let me check. Whoop! Shit. And... Yeah, Bulbug can go right there. Uh, let's see, he's got a plus five to initiative. Yeah, I think he would go before Arctavius. Okay, now we're all set up. And you have the right. Aura of Vitality set up. Anything else for your turn? And, and bonus action, activating Starryform Chalice. As you guys see, Kaya's, well, her starry form glow look even stronger. As there's just, like, a, a pulse that just goes out from her, from, like, matching with, like, a heartbeat. And that's my turn. I turned into Healbot right now, so... Okay. Hopefully we survive. Tarla. Just st stay within the circle and you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting close to the thing. What? Uh, Tarla's going to cast... Burning Hands. Not Burning Hands, Heat Metal on his sword. So, I'm not going to make that I'm con save... That because you notice that the metal burns and it does not face him even a little bit. <laughs> Seems the fire genie is immune to fire. Imagine that. He's gonna look back at Tarla. Really? Fire on the fire genie? Oh, Draco, question. Did the... F I know we did half damage cause on the save for the cold, but like, is that is that bonus anything? Cause it's cold damage for the cold breath? No. He does not have a weakness to ice. Lame. Tarla slowly... Tarla slowly shrugs. <laughs> and then... But his action off... Wait, what's the range? Uh, no, I got the range for it. Never mind. Offhand chakra. Okay. Boop. That will miss. Fuck. Actually, way... You are... Okay, that's just barely in range for you. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, and that's it for your turn? Yes. All right, then Kira is up, and she is going to start singing the... Let me take a look at her stuff. Song here. That's not relevant at the moment. Uh, I think I'm going to return it. Would you like the reroll, or would you like the thing that keeps you from dying? Keep us from dying, please. Keep yeah, us from dying. Song of Perseverance. Uh, to all allies who can hear her until the end of her next turn, you will not die or go unconscious when you're reduced to zero hit points. You can make a con save with a DC of five plus whatever damage you took. On a success, you drop to one hit point instead of zero. Everyone is currently in range to hear her singing, so you won't die if you get smacked with the skim tar of this thing or it does anything else he can do. That's good. Uh, speaking of, Andros. Uh, no. Just gonna go up to him. And I'm going to attempt a stunning strike. That'll hit. Alright, he has to make a con. CX. And let's roll his con. That's a natural 20. Nope. Uh, stunning strike again. Nope. And I'll spend two key points to do a blast. Alright. I'll have to make another con. Okay, so... 
That says Dex. Uh, hold on. Dex, yeah, Dex. Okay. Sorry, I'm just confusing right. with another. That is better for you. That <laughs> is a four. Uh, he's not blinded. Let's give him the old blind eyes. Noise. Ah! Damn it! Where did you go, you coward? I'm over here. Oh, the flare. <laughs> he takes 14 damage. That's the end of my turn. Alright. So, Bulbug's currently trying to get upstairs. Alu, what do? I know this would defeat the per like point of what Kira is doing, but would silence be useful? Because then the opponent uh, can't figure out where we are. Uh, Ab Abta can't figure out where we are. He's got blinded. So, yes. Yeah, but like you can still hear what positions, right? So I will say if uh, I don't know if you'd know this, but he is a genie, so he is a spellcaster. If he is silenced, he can't cast spells. But that'll be useful then. <laughs> it also gets rid of Kira's ability to keep you from you know dying. So yeah, that that's why I'm saying. <laughs> I guess it depends where you drop it. Yeah. What's the radius probably... of that? Uh, okay. Ah, I did not do that right. That. There you go. So it's a 20 foot 20. radius sphere. Oh, you put his dead center on him, it'll be good. Yeah. Wait, where do you want to center it? Ping it one more time so I can see. I mean, if she pins it. Oop, wrong thing. Like that corner of him or something? Right here, dead center. Andros doesn't have any spells to cash, so. What do you mean? He's got all sorts of spells, like fire sunbolts. That doesn't count. <laughs> okay, so I'm uh, gonna have to adjust yeah, the then... size of this, but that's almost right. Then yeah, I'm gonna use silence. Okay. I'm gonna shush this lad. Octavius, no! That's fine, I'm not a caster anyway. He's smiting, I, forgot, I forgot to smite. <laughs> you did! You forgot the yeah, paladin's like, bread and butter. Yeah, we haven't fought in so long, Drake. I don't even know what to tell you, man. It's fair. Okay. Been so long. Okay, I think that's the appropriate size. Well, maybe that could go a little higher up, but I think I've got the general correct size of this. So everything in that blue sphere is silenced. Cool. Uh, any bonus actions or? I'm just keeping it with that for now. Okay. So I will say... Arctavius, you are in the danger zone. You cannot hear Kira's singing because you're in the mm. silence. Same with Andros. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. So, you know, just don't get hit. Exactly. Inc incidentally... Don't get hit forehead. Uh, Ifridi is going to first blindly swing at Andros and maybe Arctavius because he has no idea where anything is anymore. So this is with disadvantage. Thank God, Holy because shit. that nat 20 on the other side. Holy uh, shit. That, uh. Uh, that 28, however, is going to hit for 25 mm. slashing and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 12 fire damage. So it'd just be the first numbers, right? The 15 right, slashing. It, it didn't oh, crit. yeah, you're right, because that's the crit it's rolling. So 15 and 7. So that would be 22 damage you take from that swing. Jesus Christ. And wow. I'm gonna... Sorry, not sorry. 
I'm gonna roll. Let's see. There's technically eight directions he can walk in to try and find Artavius blinded. So that's direction six. One, two, three. Oh, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, actually, let's do the cardinal directions as one, yes, two, what are you three, doing? four, <laughs> five, and then six. So he's going that way. Whoop. And he's going to swing at nothing. But I'll still roll the attack for the lulls to see what you could have taken. Well, that's a 17, ha, so we miss, hit. bitch. <laughs> it's a double miss. <laughs> All right, so it's the top of the next turn, and Pythor gets out from below deck. Ooh. What's what's going on? Are we under attack? Fire genie. Ha! What? Huh? You got angels pretty good. Can you help us out? All right. Uh, yes. Okay, I will give him his movement, which is... Well, let's give him half of his movement, because he had to run up here. But that's still... Hmm. Does he have any range attacks? Nope. Uh... They're not all speaking, are they? No, he, he is not a... Uh... He's not the singy type. But he will get into the silence. And, um... He's going to let out a silent bellow. And he's gonna rage. Turns out the god of battles is a barbarian. Who would have guessed? Hmm. That new third. You better have thought of all right, guys. Wow! Wait. Oh, wait, that's only Hold if he's reduced he to half hit points. Oh, that's... I was say, was he drunk? That's another good point, because he does have something about oh, okay. it. If he has access to that, he's in drunk state in this state. He's poisoned. He's disadvantaged in all attacks and saving throws. And he's in advantage. Okay, so. Here's how we're going to roll if he was drunk or not when this happens. High or low? High. That is 56, which is technically in the high spectrum. So mm. he is sober. Is that bad or good? That is good because <laughs> okay. if he was in, if he was drunk, he would have had the poison condition, which gives him disadvantage on all of his attacks and saving throws. And I just figured he'd be like stronger him. when he's drunk, so you know. <laughs> nah, but uh, that does it for Pythor because uh, he couldn't quite get up to the genie after running up here. Artavius, mm. it's your move. All right, I will uh, step forward and poke with the old long dorada. Uh, it's gonna miss. Uh, yep, that sure is. And second attack. That Twenty-two. All right, let's throw a divine smile on that. Get some damage output going, friends. Get smitey. It's not great on the damage, but it's okay. That is 13. That's a slot. All right. And then I can do my bonus attack. 24. Is going to hit. And actually, I can throw a smite on this as well, right? Yep. Uh, yeah. Sweet. Let's yep. do it, friends. Any, any melee attack. 20 damage. God damn. Solid 20 damage. And then... Um, I would need to roll a d6 to see if Solaire gets his breath weapon back. Yes. I really don't want him up in melee with this thing. Why not? Um, so... It's just a big burly a five man. or Yeah, a 5 or a 6, he'll recharge the breath weapon. Yes. So... And that counts for his other breath weapon he has, too. They're both share the same one. Gotcha. All right, that's he's a got six. access to both his Got breath weapons. And that's for next turn, question mark? 
Uh, no, that's this okay. turn. You check to see if it's recharged or not, and then you take your turn. Uh, oh, very cool, very cool. Okay, so where do I need to get him to in order to use my uh, the 15-foot cone? There you go. That's way too close to him. Um, it's like here-ish. Oh, fuck. I was on the, like here-ish. see from there. Yeah, I think that would put him in range, and you would just be... No, you'd still be in range for that. Well, if he, like, angles it more, I mean... Like maybe if so you have only... him in the lower corner. Let me take a second here. Snap the corner. Like, from that corner. If he aims it more left, I mean, this dude's big. So, cone should be the hit. If he goes from that corner. I keep you guys up with tailing, too, if you're... If anyone's a worried about health oh yeah you are in the aura of vitality so on Kaya's turn could potentially get healed cool if you want to take a hit for the team you and Pythor alright so so sorry he's got he's at 30 feet so where can I move to like I don't know here-ish and hit the cone of cold and not hit me. <laughs> so there he would still hit you, but you're also, keep in mind, in the aura of vitality, and Kaya's up next, so she can heal you for some of that damage that you're going to be taking. Well, but from here, like I said, he's he's up, takes like a four square, so if we aim it more this way, right? Mm, let me see. Because it's a cone, so if we just aim it yeah, here-ish... Actually, you know? yeah, you know what? Now that I'm measuring it out, I think you're right. Yeah, you could probably okay. get that without any issue. So 15 to that spot, and then he'll do 15 back to where he is. That would okay. be his 30 feet of movement. And so it is the breath weapon again uh, on Solaire. We're going to do the cold breath again, because I don't know the paralyzing is going to do much on this guy. Mm. Um, he'll cause it's a, He's got real high con, and this is a low con save, so at least I'll get half damage. So let's just throw that out there again. And I'll roll the 48. He will roll his con. That is a 21. Okay, so that's so what? Uh, 15, eight, so 7, 8 yeah, damage, eight. something like that? Sweet. Because we round up in this house. Hell yeah. Love it. Love to see it. All right. And that'll do it for Octavius. It is Kaya's turn. All right. Do you want to have want to move the, those big block of NPCs back a little bit? Oh yeah. Because um, I did kind of give the commands on my turn. That's true. If you I want that, you want those guys. To, if you just, so let's. Uh, I guess if you just want them to move back. Yeah. You know, just so it's it's not like cluttering the screen. Thirty feet. Whoop. All right. I have to be careful with this. Action! Fucking charging of a guiding bolt on this motherfucker. All right. And since he's blind, I have advantage on this attack. It's true. There we go. Twenty. That's gonna hit. Fuck it. I'm using a level three slot. Okay. Understandable. So he takes 24 radiant damage. God damn. And bonus action. Activating the aura to heal Andros. So this is 2d6. So that's four. Thanks. And since I used healing, Chalice activates. So Andros also heal an additional nine noise. Thank you. Okay, and I'm not gonna move that one guy, because he's up in the crow's nest, so he's technically, like, several feet in the air. He's fine. Alright. Um, I don't know how tall the mass technically is, but, I don't know, let's say he's 30 feet in the air. Should, should be safe. As long as the mass doesn't get hit. 
Yeah. It's fine. And if it... Well, even though he's blind and he already has advantage, the Guiding Bolt will grant advantage to the next attack. Now it's double yeah. advantage! I'm kidding, that's not a thing. <laughs> hey, Alright. That's my turn. Alright. Tarla. Alright. I cast... Conjure Elemental. Oh boy, here Jesus. we go. What flavor Jesus. of elemental are you bringing in? Aqua. That makes sense. There you go. There you go. Oh, you dropped him in the silence. It won't be able to hear you. <laughs> it won't be able to hear. It will not be able to hear your command. <laughs> maybe you can get uh, the vibes. Yeah, maybe he gets a vibe check. <laughs> vibe check? Not a verbal command, is it? <laughs> yes, I believe so. I believe that, yeah. It obeys Tar any verbal command. Oh, Tar God. Oh, only verbal command? Yep. Call for... So, good job, Tarla. Well, it will act on its own, I think, to defend itself. So there's that's a thing, but still. If you wanted to do it very specific things or attack specific targets, this would be a horrible situation to be in. However, that being said, it's you do extra... need to roll its initiative in because it gets its own initiative. Yep, 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 yep. It's at least an extra body. Yeah. E. All right. So... Oh boy, another nineteen. <laughs> Man, the nineteen crew over here. Uh, right. What is your um, dex for initiative? Say zero. Then the water elemental would go before you. Yep. <laughs> And this water elemental Pythor and Artavi is just sort of hanging out in the in this crew. Yeah, I would talk shit, but uh, in, I'm in silence, so. Mm. That's okay. I'll talk shit for you. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Tarla, it can't hear you. <laughs> you just thank you. You, you but... talk shit, and it like. I can't see anything, but I get the feeling someone's talking shit, and therefore must get hit. Which, none Suddenly of you can Suddenly some tiles hear. appear. Uh, Tyler points at the JD, and this dude will thumb across your neck for kill. It can't see you. You're very <laughs> small. <laughs> Child. <laughs> yes, yeah, you're very small. Blind. You just hear a giant fucking freedy. You just and hear foot paddles. <laughs> To, to right there, points at the GD, and that's the little deck thing for kill. This is the worst timeline. Alright, so... <laughs> and we need his intelligence tech, maybe? Yeah, to I was gonna say command, but... insight from the water elemental to see if it understands you. Oh boy. I swear, if it not once, it's gonna attack us. That would what, be uh, intelligence? No, oh, that'd be uh, wisdom elemental. for insight. Be upset. That'll be two elementals Tarla would have against the party. 17? It, it gets yeah. the gist of what you want. Let's see, if it rolled in at one, I would have it just jump into the water. <laughs> the Hell yeah. the Go home. <laughs> be free. <laughs> free willies. Yeah! <laughs> free aqua. Coming to theaters. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Anything else? Got there. Well, you heard Avatar the way of water. Have it now. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Riaqua. When you write. Is what the is that? water one where the, they like fuck the fish or something? No. no. Room. All right. What was that one? That'll hit. Now, that's a uh, way of water, I think. No, that, there was another like movie that was just called Way of Water, I think, or something. And that's the movie you're thinking of? Hmm. And that Whatever one, the fish fucking movie is. Yeah. It's since I moved. It's since I moved. It did prop uh, the fish. Uh, my boy flourish. So it will be seven. Twelve damage. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Didn't go on my end for a little bit for some reason, but there we go. Notes a lot's itself. happening, Draco. What? When I 
Uh, note to self, when I uh, talk with my BF, um, I'll just ask, if I were a fish, will you still love me? Oh my god. <laughs> Who are you? A gay fish? Extension of the worm joke. Oh my god. <laughs> but if I was a fish, uh... And that is my turn. Right. Water. Never touch the stuff. Fish fucking it. Then... <laughs> And then Kira will continue her song of perseverance just in case shit goes south because we got real close a little while ago with uh, Andrus. It's your turn. He's no longer blinded. Ah. Not ideal. We should do that again. <laughs> yeah, probably. I'll keep my distance. Probably for the best. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That won't hit. Nope. That, that will. will. That will. And I'll spend my two key points to do the blast again. Okay, and let's see if he manages to break Ten. free. Uh, mm. Dex. This, that is a nice This is the same day, right? Dang this is the same day, right, Draco? Yep, he's no, he is not blinded. Uh, yeah, this would be the same day. And he takes okay. five damage. I'm, I'm using my reaction. Um, does he get Conflict to... Omen, whoa. Ah, yes. So, ooh. That's minus four. So, so that's that would 15. be 15, ah. which still, still succeeds. Enough. Dang it. I tried. Yeah, it's fine. So, he still takes five damage. Does he get a save from being blinded, or no? Does it say? He... He's not blinded anymore once uh, this is the start of my turn. Okay, so let me get his eyesight back. Boop. Now there's a lot of problems for him to deal with, and one of them's a giant water being, so I think I know who he's going to attack first. Yeah. But, uh, Andrews, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he is pretty unlucky, but... <laughs> <laughs> There's animosity between the fire and water plane, so he's probably going to go for the water thing first. It's my secret cap. I'm always unlucky. But, uh, is that it for your turn, Andrus? <laughs> yeah, it is. I got nothing else. Right? <laughs> Bullbug! <gasps> makes it. Yes! Let's see. Bullbug has Bullbug, get a in movement there. speed of 40 Our feet, hero. And he is, like Pythor going to move I can't quite make it next Hell turn yeah. him and Pythor are going to actually be in combat I'd love to see it Alu get in the good job buddy Yay. I feel safe okay. Hell yeah Let's see what uh, so can this I guy's do ass I feel pretty good about it mm -hmm. What can I do with this distance that's useful Something, probably. Um. I was gonna, like, ranged I'm... casting. I'm trying to see if I'll be in, within range for this. Well, you can move up a little bit. I mean, you got, what, 30 feet of movement? I think so. Okay, um, this is gonna sound ridiculous. Alright, I'm but... intrigued. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Can I trap him with food and water? Do what? I don't think so. He's a large creature. And I don't think 45 pounds of food and 30 gallons of water would necessarily trap him. I mean, you can make him very wet and angry if you drop the water <laughs> on him. Don't, true, don't worry. true. Splashy's um, going to get him next turn. I I, I will use <laughs> to, to uh, make the uh, genie very very wet. I mean, will that do damage if he's fire? <laughs> no, but he'll. I, I, no I think it's for the disrespect. Mm. Do you have any wall spells? You have like cantrips that can attack, right? <laughs> like, um, but he might think he's came from the elemental. Right. I mean, it depends on what you took, I guess. But you have, I guess, whatever you prepared, right? 
on him anyway. Yeah, it's whatever uh, he has repaired this day. Yeah. But basically every single yeah. cleric spell is at Alu's disposal. Yeah, there's like some like casting like cantrips and shit you could do anyway. <laughs> this is funny though. <laughs> Hey, who knows? He might think he came from the elemental behind him. <laughs> Water just sort of I, I... drops on top of his head, and he looks even more angry. <laughs> I think he would have noticed, because he's pointed towards you right now, that you were the one that cast it. So now he's got to figure out who he wants to kill more. Andro's the one who brought him into this mess, the water elemental behind him, or Alu, who just dumped water on him for seemingly no reason. And you can hear it, but he seems very, very angry. He's steaming right now. Yeah. There's actual steam coming off of his body. Because it's evaporating the water that just poured on him. Alright, tell you what, I'm gonna roll a d4. Four is a reroll. One for Andros, two for the water elemental, three for Alu. That's a reroll. And that is the water elemental. He's going to huff silently, turn around, and he's going to scimitar attack the water elemental. I do believe that will hit. It does. For 15 slashing and 6 fire. <laughs> Is that a magical weapon? Yes, it's a genie. Okay. It's probably resistant to fire though, right? Let me uh, see. It would say, see. okay, it should be. It's made uh, out of water. Poison, That's what I'm like. Poison, piercing, slashing. Can we use Pokemon rules here? <laughs> No, sadly, and I'm looking at the sheet. Oddly, it does not mention the fire resistance. And I mean, it does kind of make sense because fire and water basically just put each other out and cancel. True. So water is fire's weakness and fire is water's weakness, but they didn't want to give them both weaknesses, I guess. So, so it takes 21. 21. And... We're going by Pokemon rules. Jeez, dude. <laughs> And now, you know, he has his target. It's super effective. He has multi attack and he does have ranged capabilities. And he, he did may. just get splashed on. So he's going to hurl some fire at Alu. Yeah, don't. Oh, shit. No. That's uh, 16, which I do believe hits for 17 fire damage. <laughs> I, I'm still in the uh, range for this. Special spell, right? Uh, yes. What are you I'm doing? My, I'm I don't my know. I, I think I clicked on something I was not supposed to. Yeah, what? Well, uh... Trying to hack the fucking game over here. And then he's going to, after doing that, move around the fire elemental. Or the water elemental, excuse me. Whoop. Mm -hmm. What? <sighs> That's better. What? Oh shit. Son of a bitch. Wait, where uh, on earth did He has to end his turn there. But he could potentially cast now. Yeah. Oh shit. Just think if he'd move first, can you guys imagine? Cast silent yeah. again. Yeah. All right, Pythor is up and he has 40 feet of movement so he can absolutely get up to this guy. Nyom. And Pythor with his Mithril Great Axe is going to hit for 28 damage. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Behold, uh, the God of He's Battle God. and his yeah. three attacks. Hell yeah. Oh, Finish nice. the fight, buddy. That's Kick a 33. Ass. Jesus Christ. For 23 damage. Kick his ass. <laughs> 23. And his Fuck final strike. Finish him. Do it. Finish for 35. Holy shit, dude. 
And 18 damage. He is a god. What? Do Only 18. Wow. Oof. Baby hit. So Pythor slams his axe into this fire elemental, or this fire genie, three times. Once in the left shoulder, once in the right shoulder, and once across his chest, where his waist meets his stomach. Or not chest, You're his, for the his head. torso. And... The genie splits apart and then disappears into a red smoke and goes back into the bottle. You have two more uses of the bottle. Well, clearly we need counseling. So do you want to use it again now while we have everybody here or? <laughs> you might as well. <laughs> Wait, are we really We're doing this right now? Speed like, are run you guys the bottle? Above game, are you serious? No. <laughs> uh, I'm legit like, we're already all here. Why not? <laughs> I have an hour for this wire element. We might as well. That's what I'm saying. Like, what better topic? <laughs> so before like, he does this again, do you want to gather around Ambrose? <laughs> so like, if he does start shit, you can beat him up. I mean, we're already. I so we're all here. All right, fair enough. Wait, sh yeah. shouldn't I heal people first? Hold up, yeah, hold up. Yeah, Let's maybe... do a short rest so I can get my key points Wait. back. <laughs> yeah, maybe, like, yeah! rest up, but you don't have to if you don't well, want to. The element the, 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 what? I only have the element uh, hour. Yeah. I, guys, I'm in heal mode. So give me a, give me a minute and I can top people off. Because yeah, I, just... I have free healing. Let me get my key points back and then we... <laughs> I'm just saying efficiency-wise, like, let's do it. <laughs> Yeah, you're so right. wait, are we doing? Human God just like not? like one rounded this month. It's like, let's do it. Let's just do it. I mean, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not doing a short rest. I think nah. we're doing a short rest, but no, we don't have time for that. Yeah, because I lose the out. I lose the elemental. Oh, let me, just, let me drop saying, one. Let's quick do heal. it. Yeah, drop drop a couple heals. Let's go. Okay. 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 So before yeah. we okay. make our next yeah. attempt on the genie. Would you? I think this is a good place for us to take a quick break. <laughs> fuck breaks. Let's fuck this guy. Fuck, no. fuck. Fight. Fuck. Fun time. We can't a fuck bitch. I'm joking. Yep, wrong one. Yeah, let's, let's just take a, okay. a quick break. Just craving that combat. Water, it's been so long. Drink your legs. Okay, Andros, heal another eighteen. Alu, heal fourteen. Thank you. And I have two pun, three puns to read. Actually, I might have more than that. You got five. You know. Five. I mean, there's a way I can still blind him, but I mean, his constitution, not dex. Oh, there you go. His, his con stuff is, he's got like plus seven to con. It's not, yeah. not great. I mean, like, I'm willing I, to try, but. Yeah. I have two more chances to try to debuff him with the Cosmic Omen. So if we get close, I can try, I might be able to make him weaker. I mean, and again, look. like, Pythor has dealt like 60 damage, but I'm not concerned. And I can't actually keep him from casting stuff. Just making the elemental go in on top of him because of this. Right, when people ask if you're a god, you say yes. Yeah. I... Okay. So I... we're just kicking this guy's ass until he gives us what we want. Clearly. <laughs> Well, I mean, you only have three I mean, uses, to... and he might yeah, not have... attack you on the second or third one. Yeah, see? All, and he gives you the wishes, know what properly. you need to wish for. Easy peasy, dude. I'm hoping for a high roll this time. Mm. High roll? Yeah. I don't know why this music just gave me a Pokemon vibe for some reason. Well, this music is from Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Oh, I was thinking Final Fantasy at first. Very nice. Nope. This is the Great Sea theme. Mm. So oh, that, I remember where I heard this from. Super Smash Brothers. Ah. I was going to be like, from Zelda? Or... Yeah. But, uh, from the game it's from? Game? Yeah, probably I play from Super... the game it's from. I uh, play Super Smash Brothers more than I play Zelda. I mean, fair, I suppose. But <clears throat> I digress. I've got five puns to read, too, and then i got to refill my water. I once saw a lizard on his hind legs telling some brilliant jokes. I turned to a local and said, that lizard's really funny. And he said, that's not a lizard. He's a stand-up chameleon. Ha <laughs> <laughs> that one. A detective was rushed to the ER. He accidentally poked his private eye. 
<laughs> Whoa! Whoa, dude. Oxygen and potassium went on a date, but it was totally okay. All right. All that right. was a science one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What kind of shoes does a frog wear? Open-toed. <laughs> I like that one. Jeez. This gravity joke is getting a bit old, but I fall for it every time. Uh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And with that, I will head off to get some water. Entertain chat while I'm gone. Uh. Hey, Doku! If I were a fish, would you still take me? <laughs> Was Doku the one you were talking about earlier with that? <laughs> If I were a fish, would you still take me? <laughs> if you find a better fish joke, let me... <laughs> I, I like that one. And this keeps with me. Like, some of us actually dread the pun joke rewards. You'd cast me every time? Ah. I need to grab Din Din real quick and come back. How's everyone else doing? Is everyone gone? Is it just me? Oh gosh, it's... it's... Hi, I guess I have to entertain chat. Hello everyone. <laughs> today how, how are you doing all this fine night day whatever time it is in your time zone did i miss the puns uh yes dang uh token mutt had a good one about fish. Do you want me to read I, it for I, you, or are you good? I, I see it. <laughs> Let me know. Why are you ready to go home? Where are you? Oh, you're taking a long shift. That makes sense. I'm like, was the pun game too strong? Is that why you're leaving? <laughs> you're leaving us because the pun game got too strong? So you literally just started token, didn't you? Like your shift just started? That sucks ass. I have returned. And I missed on puns? That makes me sad. Now I have to watch the VOD. Can you imagine? Gross. Open chat. Watching the VOD. In this economy? I know, right? 
Okay, this would beat the shit out of the oh, magical wait. dust man. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I, I did hear that, uh, Yelly, you did ask your boyfriend the fish question. I did not get to say <laughs> to hear the answer. What did he say? Uh, he said, I'd catch you every time. Aww. All right. <laughs> Good answer. About the catch. <laughs> but see, it could be catch and release, though. You never know. So, I mean. Well, I mean, I guess it is implied from the catch every time that either she's constantly getting away after being caught, or he's releasing her to catch her again to catch her every time. Uh, it's not really a great sight when you start thinking about it. So. Yeah. No, it was cute before, and then we dissected it, and it became <laughs> nothing. Which is what happens a lot, I feel. Just, just catch one time and turn them into those, like, singing bass wall <laughs> decorations. There Big mouth really bass? Worse. Yeah, what? actually, that those is are, much worse. Those things are fun. They are. Until the, bat until the battery runs yeah. out, then they become the spawn of Satan. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're fun. Um, mm -hmm. But think about how you would have to make that yeah you would have to you know kill the fish to make the singing bass well, so i will sure be made right plastic. back i'm gonna grab food all right okay yeah the more we just dissect this the more uh it's yeah gonna turn out good mm -hmm. yeah. guys don't fuck fish all right <laughs> yeah don't be like aquaman the psa <laughs> Don't I fuck the song in memes. You mean, mean like the Kanye. deep? Although, you know, to be fair, I mean, who are we to judge who people get with if everyone's a consenting adult? I uh, say. Uh, have you ever heard of religion? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Watch no. Peacemaker. Look, all I'm saying is I'm whatever two people do to each other while they're together, be they an anthropomorphic fish or not, is their business. Drake, I swear to God, if we find well, mermaids anytime Alex. soon. <laughs> in, uh, in Peacemaker, he makes a rumor up that um, he fucks fish. Aquaman. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Of course dude, he just... <laughs> Then you watch the boys in the deep literally fucks fish. Yeah, I, I know. It's, uh, it's no. great. I wouldn't call it great, but you know, to each their own. Getting sucked off by an octopus, dude. It's great. Oh my god. <laughs> I actively dislike the show, but I'm not gonna put, I'm not gonna like share my dislike with anyone. People are free to like what they want. I just do not like that show. It's so good though. I know it's good. I just do not like it. <laughs> it's dark as fuck. Like, you're not wrong. Yeah, I was gonna say, un under, like, I'm pretty sure you could understand why someone would not like it. Oh yeah, I mean, but it I'm... definitely is. Like, like episode one has like the hard, like, yeah. Uh, it's just it, it's rough, but it is. So well written, and it is brutal, but so good. Yeah, I don't deny how good it is. It's just yeah. not for me. I mean, the whole message is, you know, police brutality and also fame. Mm -hmm. Getting yeah. people's yeah. heads. Anthony Starr just, like, plays that psychopath role so well. Yeah, it's a little bit disturbing. How it's like, dude, are you okay in real life? Because, uh, scary. Yeah, where's this uh, I'm back. Welcome back. Yummers. Oh, who's talking about fish sticks? Apparently you. Like them in your Wait. mouth? You like fish sticks? In your mouth? Do you? In your mouth? I forgot we have a music channel. We do. <laughs> I'm the song oh, everywhere. basically never used. <laughs> in every channel. In every channel. I know. Well, there's only one other song in there. So how much longer until it gets put in links and things channel i'm putting in art because this song is art <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i will i will delete i'm gonna i'll delete it if it gets too much but... horrendous okay. and just this one bit I'm just gonna... I <laughs> yeah because it won't belong in quotes highlights or the links so i think that's all i can put it hey we use links a lot more times than music <laughs> Uh, as yeah. they come yeah, out. Yeah, but the song does not belong in Lynx. I mean, it's a link to a YouTube channel, so technically... Mm, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna abuse this power. <laughs> if that's the one thing Kanye taught me. 
It's to not abuse my power. I don't think you should listen to Kanye. Yeah, Kanye is the one I mean, you, you I mean, listen to. I was gonna say, like, it's the reverse psychology. Seeing him, like, I'm gonna listen to him by not doing anything about it. It's like, music-wise, you can listen to him however you want. Advice-wise, uh... That's why I'm saying, like, got it, I'm not gonna do that shit. <laughs> So we're gonna beat up a genie, right? Yeah, we're taking down smoke, man. Round two. Ding, I mean, that's if we fight, that's know, if we fight him ding. again, but yeah, I mean, like it's a very slim chance, actually. I mean, what are the other options that you're gonna? So if he friends him, him or he gets or... three with. I mean, yeah, like... it tells you in there in the magic item yeah, what your chances are. So yeah, I know. What, I see it. <laughs> what you're shooting for is 91 to 100. That's Ideally the dream. 100. The uh, second option isn't so bad. For an hour, he'll just do whatever you say. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, the second bit. The next two times the bottle is opened, the same uh, the same effect will occur. The bottle is open. So I don't know if but those. Like I don't know what those extra. I was going to say, I don't know if those extra effects overwrite the other openings. We're most likely going to get the second one. Yeah, because, like, it says that the bottle loses its magic in some of them, so I modified it where you get three uses out of this bottle. Mm. But if the second one happens, then you can open this bottle at least four times. Let's... To modify this to make this a little bit easier. So, like, if you do get the second option here, I'll say you have four more openings of the bottle, and the first one is taken out for that, because you've already triggered this one, which would give you the second option three times. Mm -hmm. And then on the next openings of the bottle, we roll and try to get the third or second option. If you roll one, it's just the second option. Or one to ten will be the second option for those next bottle openings. That way we're not trying to fight this guy every single time. <laughs> yeah, because that yeah. would suck. Yeah, it No, would. we're good. We got a god. But we're fine. I mean, technically, I mean, spe I, technically speaking, I, I could roll low three times in a row, and that would just fucking suck, but... <laughs> I'm throwing the bottle out the, in the ocean at that point. <laughs> you and your curse bad luck. I believe just gonna accept, that. You know what? Fuck it. I'm unlucky forever. Yeah, oh, just well. screw it. Just screw it up on another way. I was, gonna, I was gonna say, like, I mean, besides just opening it, like, what are you trying to do from this? Like, so... Do we need, do we need to do it now? I like, mean... Like, to get the power to go into the lava now, or should you... We wait I mean, until we're at that point. I mean, I'm just going to open it. I, I don't care at this point. We're I mean, just, you get three wishes. And the, does one Andros of them, have three wishes? Yeah, Andros would get three wishes if he rolls the prop. If I roll for that effect. And what he needs is to be able to jump into lava. Yeah, so I'll just wish to jump into lava. <laughs> And you then you have please a, word it correctly. Will, I'm not going to say it like that. <laughs> yeah. Jump into lava. Done. Andrew's immediately above a volcano. I, I've seen monkey paw shit. <laughs> uh, Draco, did you catch my message in uh, chat about the channel? You, you did say editing a channel, but which one and what, how am I editing it? What's going Play on? Uh, Aloe's ad Advancements. Yeah, we we can all see we can all see Alu's notes. Yeah. But can't you all see everyone else's notes too? Nope. No. No. Oh. Everyone else's. You made everybody else's private. private. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. Unless you'd want to make it free for everyone, then everyone could see what notes we have. No, you better not. <laughs> you better I need not. You'll see our lore. But see, I, I wrote all my lore in mine. You. Told I am like. One docs to me, dude. I kind of use pen and paper anyway, so... There we go. <laughs> don't dox me, bro. Perfect. But, I, oh wait, I, I forgot to hit save. There. There you go. Now it's private. Sorry about that. Hey, oh, Thank yeah. you, it's okay. But, uh, I mean, you don't necessarily have to 
the other reason why I have these rooms is like if you want to do stuff in character, like your thoughts and feelings about stuff that's going on in the adventure while it's happening. Or just take notes that are important to your character. Backstory wise, any personal notes you might need. Yep. Just throw my lores in there. Yeah. Alright, so I think we're good to get back into the swing of things. I think everybody's back. Yeah. So, let's roll them bones and see uh, what happens for round two. Fight. Well, okay. So, once more you open the bottle and the smoke pours out. <sighs> you may want to drop the silence too. Get rid of the silence circle. Oh, yes. Because that's not here anymore, I guess. Whoop. So is he also or what? He looks at you. What do you want? So what did we get? <laughs> For one hour, he will do as you command. Oh, shit. Oh, good. You're not hostile. Nope. Um, are we good now? I suppose so. You notice that the bands around his arm are glowing. You get the feeling these are keeping him from attacking you, along with the magic of the bottle. Okay, good, because I, I don't want to go through that again. Um, hi, my name's Andros. Hi. You know my name already, I shouted it. Yes, you did. Um. Listen. Just, uh. Let's try not to do that again, alright? I am contractually obligated to not do that again now that the <laughs> bottle has enforced. Me to comply. Don't Great have to grant you wishes at this time, but I can fight for you. I guess, or whatever the hell you want from me. Um. Well, I didn't even know the wishes thing was a thing, but uh, that's good to know now. Um. Huh. Kinda just looks around, I, I guess just help around the boat. Great. <laughs> you have two more uses like this. S sounds good. Um If it's relevant, I am immune to any fire and or lava based attacks. Oh well, actually that is very useful to know. So I will keep that in mind, because we might need those abilities, unless you want to offer me a wish. Right, we'll see how things go. And Bulba Seems will nice when he's not trying to murder us. Arla stares at him. And he'll go below deck, glances at you for a second, make a painting, it'll last longer. I would now dismiss the elemental to make you go back where it came from. Alright. And it washes onto the ground of the ship and, uh, boop. I was kind of hoping it would just jump overboard and it would disappear that way. Be free! Free Willy! Actually, Wire Elemental name is now Willy. <laughs> so, wh what was happening there? I'm confused. Uh, we have a friend now. Okay. And he came from that bottle? It's important for our journey. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna go below deck, I guess. And... I thought. 
Hmm? Train me! <laughs> what was that? Train me! Feed you? What? She glares at him. Train! Oh. Me! Oh! Oh! Sorry, I misheard. Sorry. Just a little... Okay, sure. I, I guess we could do that. Um... I mean, I guess we could do it up here on the deck. Hey. Not really much of a teacher, but I'll try, I suppose. And, uh... I guess wherever you want to set up shop to start your training. You can head on over there with Pythor and uh, we'll get down to business. Okay. Andros is going to follow the genie as he's helping with the boat. Alright, he went uh, below deck, so I'll just... Uh, yeah. I'll see. And he'll help him out while he's helping out. I'll be right here. Okay. So, uh... I mean, my combat style is a little bit different from yours, so, like... You want to train with axes or physical, like, just punching or... Uh... I mean, I have a scythe that's kind of like an axe. I suppose. No, not. <laughs> I mean, they're both bladed weapons, so... Yeah, we can do that, obviously. Oh, yeah, an axe and a sword's the same thing. Hell yeah. <laughs> swords, axes, they're all basically the same when you break them down to their base components. You know, it's a, you know, one, of them's a, you know one of them's a murder weapon and one of them's a farming tool. That can yeah. be used as a murder weapon. Anything can be yeah. used as a murder weapon. I was gonna say, yeah. Yeah. although That's to be cup. fair, you can Actually, kill a man a, with yeah. a teacup. Uh -huh. yeah, never mind, an axe is also a farming tool. So you guys are gonna be farmers. Yeah. <laughs> Teach me in the ways of farming, Pythor, god of battle. Farming people. Uh, Transformers back to normal. Alright. And, uh... I mean, we could have, like, a sparring match, but you know how much he has to his attack. It would not go well. Yeah, I know. Please one-shot Tarla. It'd be great. <laughs> All right. I kind of want to see... I kind of want to see how quickly he could take out Tarla. <laughs> Let's see how you take a hit. Boom! And she's down. Hmm. Told you I wasn't good at this whole teaching thing. He go push Tarla she passes out. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Fucking pulls a Houdini. Oh dear. <laughs> you know, just for funsies. I'm gonna roll. Well, that's in that one on the other side, but that's a 28 on the other. For you turn that one's a 19. Damage. Holy shit. So. I have one HP left. <laughs> so obviously, he's gonna hit you with the blunt side of the weapon because you're not fighting to death. He's trying to, you know, spar with you. So. Oh, that. Mm, maybe I should have held back a is little. It God. To be fair, he did roll like the highest he possibly could on one of their die. Amazing. It could have yeah. been worse. I'm... They could have both been yeah. 12s. Amazing. You know, I'm going to give Pythor credit. He was able to just take her down to one. Yeah. Like, you know, it's okay. There. That's yeah. as much as you can take. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're both learning. I now know that that was way too much force to use. I'm so sorry. Let's is, maybe try with okay. it. You, you good? Yes, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> maybe it'd be better if I went with more verbal explanations of combat and strategies instead of actually showing you. Huh. Yeah. That will probably work. Uh, this just reminds me. Uh, uh, that just reminds me of Esther. Uh. Speaking of, 
you can hear a faint laugh. <laughs> You're not sure if anyone else can. You just hear Taro say, Shut up, old man! <laughs> I'm sorry? That's you. I lost you out of the sky again. Maybe you want to just take a bit of a rest. I may have you did good. got something I'll loose. Well, oh. no. No. I need to get stronger. Because some people glares at Octavius don't think I can fight. Yeah. To, to be I fair, join? that that man just almost killed you with one, <laughs> one hit in the eye. I mean, I'm also <laughs> the god Looks of battle. Like to be fair, to be but fair. Did, but did I die? Did I die? I mean, she did take that hit pretty well. Uh, pretty well. <laughs> she nearly collapsed, unconscious. She's not unconscious though. And as long as you can fight and you're willing to. I think if Soleil here bit her on the ankle, she would pass out right now. Artemis, I think you're being too hard on Tarla. Everyone has a different fighting style. I'm not saying she's without use. I'm just saying that she is not the martial uh, warrior of the group, per se. Well, that's why she's training, so she can try to get better. Certainly. Don't put someone down for don't put someone down for trying. I'm sure, not. you know, sure Tyler will, will joke and, you know, will joke at saying, you know, you nearly got one shot, but we don't mean any, like, negative feelings by no, it. No, you tie just trying like to laugh. This. I'm not t t t trying to put anyone down. I just uh, feel that people should somewhat know their their ability or, or place or, or not be <laughs> overly confident in matters they, you know, are, are not experts in for that matter. Well, that's why it's called learning. I call I, that. I, I'm not a man of of ego per se, and it can rub me the wrong way when uh, though others are at times. Well, I think Tarla is doing great. He gives you a light smack on the back, which uh, knocks you down, Tarla. <laughs> Excellent timing. <laughs> oh, God, I need to learn to hold back a bit more. Uh, healer? Anybody? Doing great, I got you. Get in there, Alu. Uh, how, how does? It should be a think on your sheet, right? Yeah, it should just, uh... Spells and attacks? You might have just accidentally hit the, uh, spell description instead of the spell itself. I don't think I added it as a... In, into the thing that's on me. Well, it's not gonna be in, uh, attacks. If you go to your spells, and you just click Cure Wounds, it'll give you a prompt of cast at what level, and then you go through that, choose the spell slot you're casting it at, and then hit Submit. Yeah, that, that's one. Okay, so you're casting it at level one? Mm-hmm. So just click, uh, click on Cure Wounds in the list, then just hit Submit, and it should roll it for you. <clears throat> Why is it not... Oh, let me try it. Why is it not rolling it? That's weird. Yeah, because when I do it, it does that. Yeah, huh. I Maybe I input it wrong. Let's see, touch. And I'm gonna try Probably something just... really quick. Well, I'm just, just gonna drag and drop it. Back in. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just do that. Cure. Not, not C7, cure. Wounds. Boop. Okay, let me try that again because I think I accidentally knocked it out. 
Your wounds. Okay. So now... Okay, there hey. it goes. Yeah, I just had to click it out and then put it back through. So you both were doing cure wounds on her? Yes. Yeah. Why not? Come on, Alu. Let's heal her up. So that brings me up to 20. Hi, Thor. Can you train me next? <laughs> uh, sure, if you'd like. As she sits up, you guys actually watch her form just shifts. This one. Oh, uh. Carla, I, I don't mean to alarm you. Did you mean to shift? Your appearance? No. Oh, dear, I may have broke something. Oh, God. I, I'm I, I'm so sorry. <sighs> That's okay. I'll, I'll help keep it in winter. Come on, Tarla. So, move you to the side before I click. And if Alu wants to do their thing, they can do that. Yes, train, train, train. All right, well. Um, Hythor will uh, walk over, trying to avoid eye contact with both Kira and Tarla, because he feels like he really fucked up here. Nah, it's fine. All right, so did you want to spar two or just go over, you know, with words that don't hurt? Spar! Okay. He pulls out his Mithril Great Axe. Now, obviously not to the death. I'm gonna hit you with the blunt end of the axe if I try to hit you, alright? Okay. So that's a 27 to hit. <laughs> For 30 yeah. slashing. Well, 30 bludgeoning, technically, because he's whapping you with the blunt end. Uh, how much does my armor class help with that? Uh, not at all. You have an armor class of 14, so he oh, hit no. well above what he needed to. Oh, no. Are you down? That means I'm at zero, right? No, um, you didn't take much damage before. You're at 44 now, I think, so, um, if you click on your token here, and then you click in the red circle, type minus, and then 30, and that's what your health is at. Although, why are you at 44? Hmm. Uh, we didn't do a short rest after the thing, right? Oh, that's true. Yeah, and you got hit oh, by uh, a fireball. I, he I healed you for 14. Beforehand. And then you... Okay. So then, let's see. Going back I to... Don't... So it's 17, 14, so, so you're only down three of your max HP. Okay, so... Yeah, that, that's that why I was 44. Two, three, so 44. Okay, that makes sense then. We're all good. So yeah, Pythor slams you in the, in the stomach. The blunt end of his axe, and uh... Yeah, that hurt a bit. That was a lot. Are you... Okay. I'm like I'm not the best I, uh, sparring partner. I have seen better days. But I am alright. Do you want to try to hit me now? Sure. Right. Roll an attack with, uh, I think you use a mace, right? Sure, we'll go with mace to so that's a miss. So you go to swing at Pythor and he dodges out of the way. Not quite. You know, I, I I feel like it'd be better if I just didn't attack and let you uh, attack me and then we'll just try to 
improve your form from there. All right. Should I do another yeah, attack? Yeah, so, yeah, roll another attack. A 12 will also not hit, so he manages to block that one with his axe. He's like, yeah, still not quite. I mean, I've got a pretty hard... I'm pretty difficult to hit. I've been training for centuries in combat, so I'm pretty good at protecting myself, but you should be able to hit me. I mean, no man is perfect, even the gods, at defending themselves. I'll try one more time. And that will also miss. This time he blocks with the Mithrox again. You just have to wait for the right moment to get in with your attacks. Look for any openings or any flaws in my stance, perhaps. And that will give you the opening you need to come in and hit. And with his advice, I'll let you roll one more time with advantage. Okay. A 19 will hit. I, do, I don't know if I even needed advantage with that. Yeah. Oh, right. You'd be 23. So 23 will hit for six damage. So he's defending himself pretty good, but you do notice there is a slight opening in his right side at the moment. Maybe because he's side-eyeing to look at Tarla to make sure she's okay. And you use that opportunity to duck in and whack him right in the chest with your face. Whoo! Good shot! Alright, could maybe do a little bit more damage, but we are sparring, of course, so I understand trying to hold back a little bit. Wait, we were holding back? Oh... I mean, I'm not good at holding back, but an attempt was made on my end. <laughs> Kira's furiously writing down, <laughs> looking at both groups. <laughs> this is gonna be great. This is gonna be a great comedic part of the story. <laughs> I could, I could probably take a couple hits. Are we trading partners? Yeah. What? I heard someone said that they could take a couple of hits. Well, I'm pretty sure I can, but... Uh... I... No, nah, I'm trying to... I'm doing my thing over here, don't mind me, I'm just gonna keep an eye on Tarla. Alright! I, I can't change back. You're, you're gonna be fine. Just... I don't know, just deep breathing, it'll be okay. Just give it time. He grabs you by your jacket. I don't want to look like my ten-year-old self. Give it, Tarla, give it time. Oh. Yes. Tarla, listen to me. Listen to me. No. I was like, yep, no. yes. No. Tarla. Tarla. No. Tarla. Young lady, no. <laughs> You're. It's gonna be fine. Just give it a moment. Something happened. You don't understand what's what's going on. I don't understand what's going on. Just give it a moment. If nothing happens, we'll work through this. But if you're trying to force and rush things and things you don't understand, something can mess up. So just try to relax. Just take a moment to calm down and recover. And we have to go from there. Just take it one step at a time. Okay. He pouts. Bye. No, no, no pouting. Just 
She what? stares at Pythor. I'm telling Sarlene. Uh, it's not necessary. Say what? He said that's not necessary. Uh, yes. I know where she is now, so... The moment I find her, I'm telling her. Oh, gods. Please, don't... Wait, why? Uh... No reason? I Thor, why? Oh goodness, would you look at the time? He's looking up at the sun. I really should get under deck. I've got stuff to do. And Wait, he's we haven't run. finished sparring! <laughs> well, let's Tar do it under deck! Tarak has command. Halt. No, <laughs> Good no. luck with that. Well, let's see. Command. DC 60. It's a DC 16. And uh, what is it again? Charisma? Uh, let me click on it. Or wisdom. To do spell. Command. Boop. Wisdom saving throw. Yeah, and 16 because of the loot. Okay, and he rolled a 12, but he's going to use one of his legendary resistances to succeed. Being a god. I'm gonna pick up Tarla and move her away. Nope, yeah. no. God. <laughs> now, Tarla, we're going to the front of the ship. If you're gonna act like a kid, I'm gonna cheat you like a kid. You know what? I think this would be a pretty good time to go below deck and see what Andros is doing with the Afridi. Your new best friend. So, uh... Tell me about yourself. <sighs> well, I live in the elemental plane of fire where I have a magnificent mansion that I'm not allowed to go back to because I got trapped in a bottle. So, there's that. Well, how did that happen? Wizards suck. Hmm, I agree. Tricky. Basically, a wizard pulled me from my home, trapped me in the bottle, and because of the nature of the spell, I can't do anything about it until the terms of the bottle are met. Currently, you've got three more uses of me. Or two more uses of me, excuse me. And after the fourth one, I fade and go back to where I belong. Well, it's no wonder you were mad. <sighs> I think I'd be mad too if I was taken from my home. Well, if I had one. But... Huh. You know, if you can make it there and you're done, you could live with me in the elemental plate of fire. I have many servants that uh, you could be a part of, if that would be what you like. Really tempting, but you did just try to kill me. Fair. <laughs> and Drift just gives him a smile. And he'll smile back. He's pretty intimidating. <laughs> well, just know that uh, I don't really see you as really a servant, so to speak. I see you more as a companion. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> I'm not gonna, you know, use this. I'm just going to bring you out when I need you. All right. Well, I have no choice but to listen, but I appreciate that. Hmm. You're dragged out of your home, and 
you know, beaten quite a bit mm. by a bunch of random strangers that you don't know. Yeah. So, don't worry about it. You're in good hands. All right, I guess there are worse. He stops himself for a second. Companions to have. Hmm. Also, that's not how you tie a knot. This is how you tie a knot. So, how did you find my bottle, and what exactly are your plans on using it? I found you from a witch magic sort, kind of like a, a wizard. Hmm. But not. Actually, I don't really know the difference. I haven't really much. Right, so either she's the one that trapped me in the bottle, or whoever did trap me in the bottle gave it or sold it to her. I'm not sure how I feel uh, about that option, but... I'm sure she forcefully took it. She's She was very intimidating. But, um... As for what I need from you is, I have a curse on me, and the only way I can end it is to go to this island and swim through some lava. I see. I mean, do you need an object taken from in the lava, or do you need to save someone, or... The witch didn't say, did she? <laughs> no, she didn't. Not quite sure. Hmm. Because, I mean, I can swim through lava, but that doesn't really help you get down there, huh? No. Not to mention we don't really know what's down there. True. It's the island of Typhon, I think it was called. Let me see if you would have any knowledge of the island of Typhon. My name dropped it. <laughs> I guess we'll start with... A, he doesn't really have history, so I'll just do a flat intelligence. Nine. <laughs> Never heard of it. Yeah, me neither. Up until now, I didn't even know I had a curse on me uh, until recently. Usually, that's something people would know. Maybe it's a subtle? Is it a subtle lure curse, perhaps? Uh, that's something about bad luck, which makes a lot of sense. Ah, uh, tricky stuff, luck. Hmm. Tell me about it. Never had a home, family, and not to mention... Couldn't get accepted to places that I wanted to be in, so I had to find my own ways to get to the lifestyle that I wanted. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> where I'm from, we just take what we need and want. But, uh, find that doesn't quite work out so well for other people. No. At least not up here. Trust me, it when I was younger, I had tried taking and having, but uh, it didn't work out. Hmm. So, what should we do right now, though? You have me for... He, like, calculates in his head probably a decent amount more time. A few minutes. Well, once we're finished here, um, how about we spar? You seem strong. And I could use the exercise. <laughs> and you're sure about this? I mean, I hit you before with this my blade. 
Mm, I'll probably have some people on the sidelines to help with that. All right. Sure. No, just celebration on our partnership. I'm just making sure I get the guidelines here. Magic, yay, nay. Nay, very nay. I cannot do that. Okay. So I won't cast a wall of fire on you. Good to know. How about we just don't do weapons? Hmm. So just fists, huh? Fists. Another thing I can do, and again, I'm sure you're going to say no, but I'm just going to bring it up as an option. I could make myself even bigger than I am now with magic. It's very tempting, but I want our first sparring to be on even ground. Well, as even as we can be because you're kind of looks him up and down. Well, I can use that magic to shrink myself down to a medium size. So we'd be eye to eye. The spell works both ways. Well then. Yeah, just do that. It's fine. Alright then. I need to practice anyway. So, uh, let's get to sparring then. Alright. How are we doing this? So, <laughs> do we want to do this down here or up on top of the deck? Probably up on top, where there's more room than less damage. Yeah, that's fair. We don't want to make giant holes in the ship that Kai is going to have to fix with the Antikythera device. Also, why I don't want him to do magic like Firewall. <laughs> yeah, it's probably for the best. Let's go back to the top of the ship. I can't believe he won't even let him use a little firewall. <laughs> listen, we're, as a tree. Li listen, we're, we're buddies, but uh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so, Andros and... I need to see the spelling of the name so I can pronounce it properly. Abta. Come up top. <laughs> And uh, he shrinks himself down to be just the size of a normal person. And we'll, uh, let's do this as combat. I mean, because you're using fists, he's going to be um, just rolling flat strength checks and doing it as unarmed strike. But because of his nature, he will get that fire damage from every hit of his, because he's a being of fire, so it makes sense for him to have the fire. Also, oh, I didn't want to... I didn't click on my token. No worries, I can put you... Is it amateur hour? Yes. Ten. Something, something, amateur hour. <laughs> <laughs> so, he goes first, and he will throw a punch at you. But an eight isn't gonna hit. Nope. He does have multi-attack normally, so I'm going to give him a second shot. Yeah, go ahead. A 23 will hit. That will hit. So you are going to take, before I roll or figure out what his uh, regular blunt damage is, you're taking five fire damage from his fist. And what is it for unarmed strike for people that aren't trained it, just like the strength modifier? It's just... 1d4 plus strength modifier. It's just strength. All right. 1d4. 1d4 is if you have a, like, Tavern Brawler or other... Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. So it's so just, just his strength modifier, then. Yes. So you would take 11 damage. Six from his blunt fist, and then five fire damage. All right. <sighs> Jacob, you need to adjust the map on stream. Oh, right you are. No one's on that part of the boat right now. Well, you know, I figured they could use their imaginations, everyone in chat. <laughs> Alright, in, nice in the distance, you hear Itaro yell, I will not be treated like a child! <laughs> I'm tying I'm tying you to the to the crow's nest. Alright, so I'm just gonna move you guys over to here. <laughs> oh boy. So... 
A 10 will not hit. And I guess I don't have my key points either. I mean, you do, haven't rested, so probably not. Nope. A 14 also won't hit. Okay, you're still within my heal range. <laughs> In case shit goes down. Alright, that's a 13, so I'm pretty sure that misses. Yep. And... That yeah, is also, miss. also a miss. Alright, so you managed to juke. After that first punch, you do not want to get hit again. Now that you know that his fists do fire damage on their own. And you managed to juke out of the way of both fists. Not bad. Natural one. Here we go. That's an 11. What is that on our handy dandy fumble chart? Please make me blind. That's funny. Oh no, you've gone deaf. Mom. Mm. You, you uh, try to hit him and he does like thing where he hits both sides of your head with his hands and just, you cannot hear for 24 hours. I hear no bells. Okay, not too bad. That'll hit. Minus four. Boop. You might not be able to tell, but his HP bar did go down. Hmm. Maybe the sparring session should have happened at a later point when you had more stuff, but, uh, you know... Uh, it's whatever. It's fine. It's fine. You can do another sparring match when you're in your prime. He doesn't have his magic. I don't have my key. It's... It's fair. Twelve will not hit. Nope. Oh, he's rolling low. And that's a natural one on his end. For 14, and what is that on his list? Oh. So he doesn't have a weapon at this point to hit himself with, but he can hit himself in the head. So he tries to, like, do an overhead hammer fist on you, and you, like, hit it with the palm of your hand, which knocks it back, and he manages to bonk himself on the head. So for two rounds, he is stunned. He can't take actions or reactions. He can't move. He can only speak faltering, and he fails strength and dex saving throws. Attack rolls against him have advantage. Andrew just has a smile on his face. <laughs> Don't get cocky. What? I said don't get cocky! All right, I'm going to hit you now. I don't, I'm not really sure what you said. That's gonna hit. That will not. But hey, he's stunned for another round, so... Oh, wow. It's your turn again. <laughs> Wait, doesn't Andrus have advantage on that hit? Oh, that? yeah, he does. So never mind, you would get the three. Minus okay. three from that. This one is another minus four. Every little chip damage. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now it's his turn. I believe that's two rounds after this one. So it's your turn, and he's free to actually fight back next turn. Andros will go in for another punch, but then stops in front of his face. I just wanted to see if I could get four, at least four punches on you. Hmm. Oh wait, you know what I realized? All this time you've hit him, he should have been rolling con saves to keep his enlarge reduce at up. Because it's Whoops. a con save. Whoopsie well, daisy. It's, well, it's over now. Yep, well, nothing we can do about it now. Ideally, I can't really fight you like this, but at least I can hit you at least a few times. Fair enough. I mean, I don't have all my capabilities, and I don't think you do either after our last scuffle. No. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> no. But, um... Two, a good partnership. He holds out his hand for, like, a fist bump. 
and he'll uh, bump you back, which he doesn't mean to necessarily, but it burns your hand a little bit. Ah, <laughs> I'm going to do a d4 of damage for this one. You take two fire damage. He kind of just shakes his hand a bit. <laughs> yeah, I can't really control that. Made of fire. Mm-hmm. Fine. It's fine. I've had worse. Unpaled. Wow, and you're standing still. I, I don't believe it either. Huh. All right. Some time goes by. Eventually, our good friend Abta vanishes. Obviously, he's no longer uh, his medium size, because that spell went away anyway. And he fades into smoke and pops back into the bottle. A day passes, so everyone gets all of their stuff back. I assume you're all, you know doing this thing that only makes this trip last two days, right? The gust of wind yeah. that you need to. Okay, so let's reduce time on all of these. 25. And tell you what, I'm either going to roll an encounter or something else is going to happen. And I'm going to tell you, you probably don't want that other thing to happen, so high or low for me to roll an encounter. Low. All right, we roll low or high? That is a 42 for low, so let's roll an encounter off the <gasps> encounters list. I swear we got another fucking hurricane. No, no. Not a hurricane. It's not 3D. But it's different. <laughs> this one is the other genie. This is a Madrid, the water genie. Just comes up from the water for no reason. Hey, buddy. Hell yeah. Think you can help us out? <laughs> and Drish just rubs the bottom. <laughs> Ugh, I guess. See, we're best friends. I love this adaptation of Aladdin. This is a much better Aladdin. <laughs> yeah, Aladdin where he punched Robin Williams. Yeah. And Robin Williams punches back. Yeah. <laughs> I'd watch it. All right. So let's roll to see if you get the encounter at all. <laughs> that is a three. Oh, look at that. No encounter either. Smooth sailing for ones for you guys. Yay! Is there enough time for you to finish the uh, Arcana books or whatever? Yeah, no, you can absolutely take the time to uh, read the last two days to get your Arcana proficiency. Speaking of which, Ooh. I'm going to work on my project. Kaya, did you untie yeah. me? I, I, I untied you within, like, after a minute. You weren't stuck on there for two days. Goddamn, that 20. Damn. That thing's coming up, Andrews. Yeah. Hell holy, yeah. Holy hell. Let's go, man. I mean, how, how, much, how much... How many hours did you have left? Let's see. Let's see. So... It was 32 hours needed, and I have 16 hours. I could give you the full eight, or I could give you more if you want to take a point of exhaustion for it. I'll exhaust myself. All right. Oh, damn. So, you managed to work through 12 hours, but you are exhausted afterwards. No one bothered you, and you got to dedicate all of your time to this. But, you should probably get to sleep now. <laughs> it's finally done. It's finally done. Ooh. But precious. Oh, I'm shaking. I have the shakes. I have the no sleep shakes. Mm-hmm. Andros, how does your heart feel? I... What? What's a heart? I don't know what you mean. Go lie down, buddy. I, I know that type of exhaustion to slide down for a bit. Oh, he's, he's missing his courage, right? Isn't that, isn't that the thing? <laughs> no, your heart, literally starts to, your heart literally starts to hurt. Or if you don't feel it at all, that also, that's also a case. So I was, I was referring to a classic play from my land. I, I often forget that no one else has any idea about my cultural references. It's, it's okay. You know end of this, we should visit your land. 
That would be I do intend to return home one day, and you would certainly be welcome. Andrew just falls flat on his face. <laughs> oh. Put a blanket over him. Well, I, we'll put him in a like hammock or bed first. And then yeah, we'll, we'll get him off the deck of the ship. Step one. Yeah. Step one: yeah. move from deck. Step two: blanket. Yeah. Step three: cut a hole in that box. Wait, what? Oh no! Pat his forehead a couple times as we tuck him into bed. Make sure there's a bucket of water. A bucket of water? He may get thirsty. <laughs> he worked himself to exhaustion. He's probably dehydrated. And that we can't feed him true. water while he's asleep. I'm so just feeding <laughs> You someone. could, but that's called waterboarding someone. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Must Oops. Feeding so many greedy, so. I, I don't have spell cure waterboarding, so... Yeah, mm. that's not a spell they added to the game for some reason. I mm. can't imagine why. I, I mean, I could waterboard, but that's a war crime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Metrosian convention. Got rid of water. Back in my day, there was no war crime. <laughs> yeah, they're just called crimes, you yeah. fucking monster. <laughs> In Tarla's time, these were acceptable. And that's why they're all dead. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, let's move y'all over. Because you finally made it. To Fire Island. And I will describe Fire Island for everybody. And let's bit more perfect for chat. <clears throat> Crystal clear blue water and a handful of smaller islands surround the land mass you are approaching. Dense tropical foliage covers the islands, and you can hear the cacophonous sound of abundant wildlife. An impressive black mountain rises from the jungle at the center of the main island, and the smell of smoke and brimstone hangs in the air. Uh, Fire Island's almost completely surrounded by a coral reef, but with Kaya's expert seamanship, she can manage to channel through and find some shoal waters to rest the ship on. It's easy enough to anchor there, but let me find you a spot for anchoring down. Oddly enough, this doesn't seem to have key locations, air quote. Oh, no, yes, it does. Ah, but it's... Okay, I see why it doesn't necessarily have key locations. Boop. But I will open that. Um, let me take a look. That's the one I have opened. Ah! Excuse me. Cheers, <laughs> where is the encounter? Uh, nope. It doesn't say encounter. Interesting. Okay, so... This. I guess I will just use what I have here to get the social encounter. Right, so... I also should probably get your ship up in here, because I just noticed I didn't move it. Alright, so... I will grab it from... Scorpion Island, I guess. Or I could just grab it from the world map. Oh yeah, I forgot to move you guys on the world map. Well, it's fine. I'll drag y'all around where you are properly. In a little bit. place y'all right over here. Okay, so you make landfall, and I imagine their first step is to actually step on the island. And a lizard folk shaman, escorted by six other lizard folk, step up to you. Um, 
I don't think any of you have seen lizard folk at all, because they're not native to Thylea's mainland. Uh, Kaya, you might have, because you were aware of Fire Island and probably are. I gave you all the information about it, so. You know what? of the Tarla lizard. Tarla might know something about it? Or not Tarla. Um, Kaya, I messed up. Although, actually, technically, you would too, considering where you are from. The past. So, let's see. Yep. See if I can find that information. Yeah, well, I have in my notes it says that the lizard folk are not hostile to sailors as it had history with the dragon lords, but there is no open trade with them. Yep. And that is exactly why Tarla would know about the lizard folk here. You do, by seeing the lizard folk alone, you remember that these lizard folk worship dragons. So the dragon lords were tantamount to gods to these folk. People that worked with dragons and shared a blood bond with them might as well have been gods. Meanwhile, but, we have our tabus with the wormling. Yeah. What's up? They approach <laughs> you in awe of little Solaire and of Artavius, and upon seeing Tarla, one of the former dragon lords, you, you must come to see our queen. We are in urgent need of your aid. What uh, aid are you are you needing? What what what's the problem, friend? The queen will explain more. I I guess I saw she seen that one coming. Okay, sure. Okay. Oh no, it's in. Follows them. As so as her ten year old self. Thank you, blessed beings. Come, come. And they will lead you, their queen. And I think this is a pretty good place for us to end the session for the night. You've made it to Fire Sweet. Island. You've made a fire genie friend. A lot of stuff has happened. Power may or may not be stuck. May maybe. You'll be fine. I want to hang out with my genie buddy again. That's fine. Oops. How are you? Oh wait, no wonder that didn't work. Let me open that up. Uh, once I put your token onto here, boop. Let's uh, start going around the horn. Starting with Hoshi. How'd you like the uh, session that was... tonight? I enjoyed the nice session. It was funny. <laughs> but Tavius is on Tyler's shit list right now. Was he not already? <laughs> no. Hmm. <laughs> you were borderline, but now you're definitely on the shit list. Oh, I made it, finally. Hey, congratulations for making it on the shit list. Hell yeah. <laughs> made the list, boys. Is sure Alu also on the list for su surviving more? Oh, uh, no. It, he's on the shit list for making fun of her for wanting to train. Ah. That's fair. That's fair. So I'm next. And declaiming to her to know her place. Yeah, that was a bit of a rough statement, huh? Talk shit, get hit. What can you say, friends? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're wait I think you're gonna get the second part of that sometime. I think you might, yeah. Feel free. You guys need a round two. Feel free. We'll see. Wait a second. Did I have more puns given suddenly? I just realized. No? 
Oh, did someone say puns? God damn it. Oh, well, now <laughs> I definitely do. I've got uh, one, someone, two. Someone did say puns. Hold on a minute. Three. Look, damn it. Well, I mean, I still got to go through everyone, but we'll end off with those puns. Uh, next up, Rodden, how are you doing? How's the session tonight? You know, feeling, you know, feeling pretty good. Kind of upset we couldn't help those people on the other island, but you know, we'll we'll come back to help them later. Can't help everybody. Yeah, unfortunate. You know, Kai's got to learn that, and now she has to play older sister to this freaking Tarla kid. It's like, come on. Yeah, it's rough, buddy. It's like, oh my god, Tarla. <laughs> I, just, Tarla, shut up and listen. <laughs> no! I'm trying, to help, I'm trying to help you. I know, right? I'm trying to help you and not use curse words right now, but, you know, whatever. But it was fun. Kind of flipped out with the genie, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah, uh, having a good time. <laughs> good to hear. Dan, what do you have going on? How was the session tonight? I'm. I have a new genie buddy. It's true. I'm pretty happy about it. Even though it didn't start out good. It's a real rocky relationship. We have some counseling. But. <laughs> yes, um. I'm making a. Uh, currently making a DD module right now, which I'm still working on with my editor. And hopefully you'll see some things about that soon. Awesome. And uh, next, Alec, what do you have going on? Oh, me? Um, hey, what's up? It's me. Uh, hell yeah, we got finally got some combat. It's been like six years since we've done combat. Missed it. Uh, oh, good session. I am tired as always. Hell yeah. But I also stream. I'm also a streamer. Um, we'll be doing a collab tomorrow, playing the forest myself. Uh, Than will be there. Token and chat's gonna be there. A pretty good crew tomorrow. Always fun. And uh, gonna kill some more birds, as always. And uh, yeah, check it out. All right. And uh, next up, yelling. What do you have going on? Hi. I do art streams sometimes. Uh, <laughs> and uh, what else do I do? I sometimes play League with friends, uh, so check out, check that out when, um, on those other channels. And I am a part of the Creatures of X, so if you want to join the Discord for that, I will be in there. <laughs> All right. uh, what else can I talk about? That's all I could think of at the moment. There is more stuff to be di like to be announced, but for now, yeah. Okay, and of course you've all already found me here. I stream on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and tomorrow I will be streaming some more CrossCode because I didn't do that on Monday of this week. So on Monday. Hopefully for next week, me and Deluna are going to be doing our Metalock of Heart Gold. We're going to be going through the Elix Forest and then deal with Whitney, who won't have her mill tank because we've randomized it. Won't have to deal with the bullshit mill tank. Ha! Tuesday, you can catch me, Hoshi, and let me do Revelia. There we go. You can catch Mill and Ninja, Deluna, 13, Chocolate Zombie 101, and Hey Mr. Rabbit. As they go through the Revelia, they got some jobs they need doing, and they've just met the Toy Maker, a awakened marionette with multiple faces who can't speak and has a little marionette in a sailor suit that translates for him. And uh, nice they'll see what he wants. Pretty colorful fellow. On Wednesdays, I do more Twilight Princess. Uh, Midna was forcefully dragged into the Realm of Light, so she's dying, potentially, and Link is a wolf, so I should probably do something about that, huh? Maybe Zelda can help. Anywho, on Thursdays, we can see what awaits our friends here on Fire Island. 
what will the Queen of the Lizard Folk, well, this group of Lizard Folk, want of them? Will they find the dragon egg or eggs that are supposedly here? You'll have to tune in and find out. And on Friday, I'm going to fucking beat the shit out of Green Robin and prove that I am the better Sphiromancer. Fuck that guy. Can't even you. have the decency to remember the protagonist Lay's name because he's an asshole. And he said, look, if you, if you beat me in this duel, I'll remember your name for you. If it's that important to you, I guess. So I gotta beat his shit in. This is of the utmost importance. But uh, I've got a few funs I got puns I've got to sling before we move on to raiding somebody. So let's see what we got. Do, 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 do. First pun. You. I got scammed out of money trying to buy memorabilia from Happy Days. I guess I got caught up in a Fonzi scheme. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I can't come like that one. <laughs> jump, on, jump on the shark over here. <laughs> no kidding. What does a thesaurus eat for breakfast? Synonym Toast Crunch. All right. <laughs> If Iron Man and the Silver Surfer teamed up, they would be alloys. Okay, that one's pretty good. Yeah, okay. Pretty good. Coffee is the silent victim in our house. It gets mugged every day. <laughs> that was me slapping my knee. <laughs> that, that one's knee a good slapper. one. You know what? Knee slapper. <laughs> I might unlock some PTSD with this one. Pink puns are really boring. I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I believe we have one more. You're not safe. Anyway, go on. I had to quit my printing job because I couldn't make any money. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's, it's frowned upon, you know? It sucks, but it is what it is. But, uh... Hey, 7 out of 10 for the coffee content. Nice. But, uh, I think... I think we're gonna raid Captain Aunt Pez. Although... Hmm... Actually, what's Hero Zone doing? Well, something with tabletop. Alien RPG creating original story. 